Hi, hello, gamers. Slap from 99, BB. I've been hearing about this game for a hot minute. You know, maybe, maybe like, uh, 10 years or whatever. And, you know, kept, kept, kept playing myself. Maybe someday, you know? I like mysteries. I like DS games. I like, you know, weird bullshit. And yet, here I am. Like, Year of Our Lord 2022 playing it for, for, for the first time. It's how I am. But hi, Gordis Alec. Nice to see you. I am gonna get this shit started and hope to God that it works. Because I sure as hell didn't test it. Because I, um, I'm very professional as a streamer. <laughs> and I know what I'm doing. So... That's how it is. But I'm doing good. Hope you're as well. How's your day been? I believe I had found you through a weekly not too long ago. I, I followed a good couple of people recently through uh, recommendations. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, this is my gaming environment, baby. Face. Yeah, I, I, I feel that, Cardi. That's, that's me. <laughs> Imagine learning Unity in Blender. I have tried. I'll get back to that eventually, but man. I'm very bad at 3D stuff, so like... Don't work well for me. Ah, Barish on Metals. Stay strong. It's hard. There's so much. Oh wow, there's like the... Like I said, I've never launched this. It, it isn't even like... Because it, it really sounds seem as just the non ra games, like both the first and second one, right? And um, I was expecting like, oh, I'd go into the actual game and pick which one I want to play. No, the, the, the like... Launcher that Steam games sometimes have is just right. Mm, all right, makes sense. <laughs> just about making a micro listen half naked. Yeah, I feel that. A lot of the VR chat models are. Um... Hmm. Questionable. You can grab a controller. I feel like. Uh, mm, well, this is. It was labeled as point and click, so perhaps I don't want to. Perhaps that's a bad idea. So yeah, bear with me so your house settings, because I was like, oh yeah, you know, I, I should I should know this before stream. Um you see, I'm nothing if not a fool who forgets to do these things. <laughs> so that's um where I'm at at all times. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get to that eventually. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, but he's great. I love her. Hey, let's hope this works. Okay, thank god there's actually audio. I was worried for a hot second. It's so true, Connie. No way to be. Okay. But no. The title screen, nothing. The options menu. Bop. Yeah, all I knew about this game is there's some weird bullshit going on in terms of like absolutely wild theories that the characters just like bring up. Just, just suddenly, just with like barely any just justification, and also uh, Jinpei is called Jumpy by the the girl with the pigtails. That's it. <laughs> A conceptual cre creation concept isn't pretty bad. That's fair. That's fair. 
two modes of play, novel and adventure. I like how they even explain that. Holy shit. That started at nine. We're already getting in here. Anyway, Yoshikoshi, I hope this protagonist you wrote here is uh, like normal. I hope he's like a normal guy and not... Uh, another thing I've heard is, and I'm sure this can't be true, that he's even worse than Date, so... I don't think that's possible. I'm sure he'll be just like a dude. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped what? open. What the? Hey, there is voice acting. As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he now. did. Give me a second here. He didn't recognize his surroundings. This is just a college dorm room. This is like normal. With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw his hand out to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! Get, get fucked. His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? Me too, girl. A bed? I fell pretty far. That really hurt. Love you narrating this to yourself, buddy. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. I'm sure it's fine. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Where am I? I'm sure this isn't a hint here for anything. I don't have to worry about that, right? Wait, Ooh. it stopped? What's that sound? I'm sure it's fine. That's... Five. That's five. It's a weird five. What's this five mean? Aren't you a good ah, question? Open. Why, it's written in blood? What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! The handle's right there, buddy. I'm sure you can force it. Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? Five. Doesn't look like one. I mean, it looks like a watch to me. Five. That's that's the same as the door. Well, it's currently five. Not five o'clock. Just five. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work. Sure, Nothing. it's not a bum or anything. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. Oh no, buddy, you don't want to do that. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. I have seen far too many of these stories, and I know what happens when you do that shit. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? Granted, I guess you would only like, well, that type tends to inject like poison and shit. What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Who was that? Oh, this is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? It took you that long? To be fair, I guess he's... See anything. He's kind of in shock. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? It... What the... Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You're about to die. What? What the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! 
Bro, you need to get better windows on your room. This is just hey, your room, anyone? first of all. Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's, it's not stopping. What's a good puzzle room without a time limit? Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out and fast. Oh shit! That's the sound! That's the same sound they use in uh, the Zomnium files! The, the, mm, hmm. How do I control this shit? I feel, okay, a way out. The camera here makes me feel like I should be able to, you know, oh. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you're restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Remember like this one? There's also a triangle here. Click on the location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. First and foremost. About items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Revolutionary. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay, okay. Upper left filled in, red triangle, bottom, bottom right, empty red triangle. Lower left filled in, blue triangle, upper right. Empty blue triangle. Uh, and then there's the arrow going from left to right. Okay. This note's got uh, uh, in red and uh, uh, in blue. Thanks. Oh. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press, uh, press V to quickly change between items. Neat. Okay. Picture frame! An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. Oh boy, math! I mean, I'm actually not that bad at math. So, there's screws keeping the back on. Thanks. I can spin it. I mean, I suppose I'd probably need a screwdriver if I wanted to do anything with that. I love the games. Do <laughs> this shit with important words when they put like brackets around. It's just like screws. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. What does it say here, though? I forgot to check that shit. Keep a notebook and write stuff down. Okay, I... I might grab one at some point, then. A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. I think there's something on it, sir. I don't know. I mean, the five. Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? I guess that's a lever, huh? Yeah, that is a lever, buddy. You seen one before? Maybe if I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red, and the display hasn't changed. Damn it! Why the hell isn't this thing opening? You gotta figure out the funny puzzle first, Junpei. I've got it! 
If I pull off these sheets and shove them into the window, maybe that'll stop the water. All right, window. Let's see you like this. Shoot. It's not gonna happen. There's way too much water coming through here. No way these sheets are going to be enough to plug up that window. I guess there's only one way I'm going to live through this. And that's by getting the hell out of this room. After all, there's not really anything else I can do. Anyway, the suitcase. The dice. It's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. It's a small keyhole. If I want to open the briefcase, I need to fill it up with a key. I feel like the triangle somehow. The number on the dial is 0101. I guess I need to put the key in the keyhole before I can enter any numbers on the dial. That's an interesting lock. They, they were like, number locks, key locks. What if we just did both? It's an old stove. Sure is. Let's see if there's anything in here. Huh. Looks like there is. Uh, key? Yeah, that's a key, all right. A little blue one. This looks like a toy. I mean, I know what that's for, but I don't obviously have the code yet, so... Is there anything in the sink? It doesn't look like there's anything hidden on the sink. This is the only drain in this room. Well, I'll use it. Actually... There's a towel next to the sink. Well, I'll use it to mop up the water. This sink is a piece of junk. Well, I won't be draining any water here, I guess. Damn, Junpei. It's just a thing. It's a pipe. I know. I'll crawl into the pipe and find a way out. Genius. Ugh, there's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. And this sucks. What's this, though? Ooh. I should probably hold on to this key. So that's voice acted. It's important. Ooh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? <laughs> Thank you, Connie. We need that. How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and and this is your apartment. It's it's on a boat. What? I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? This dude just narrates his whole life, and that's fine. Breeze. Huh? That, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Uh oh. Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Oh. What? Who were? I. I can't. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if it was voice acted on the DS, honestly. Consider this a privilege you have been chosen. Holy shit. I will! You are going to participate in the game. I love games! A memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him, well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Thank you, Junpei. Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. Early call. Pigtails. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary <laughs> game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? Ugh, God damn it! Me too, buddy. There's nothing left on the mirror. Sure ain't. Is there? There's a pair of simple chairs next to the table. The water's already up to the chair. No pressure. 
Certainly not water pressure. I'll stop. That's totally a chair. What am I thinking? I don't have time to sit down and relax. There's a blue briefcase on top of the bed. I can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Damn it! Is there anything else I can use? There's a pipe at the other end of the bed. There's nothing up top. Oop. This is just like the br blue briefcase. Yeah, Antarctica. This is 999. It's a mystery puzzle type visual novel thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Yep, there's a lock on this one too. And it's not opening. Still a 101. It is, it is a bit old. It was originally on the DS. Alright, let's stick that red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. At, at all. Are my ears bigger? I certainly didn't make them bigger. Well, alright, I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers and then turn the key. I do that, this thing should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the minigames are done by clicking the screen. Big ears. Floof ears. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Aw, yeah, thank you. I do think they're cute. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to move the, to the next number. Enter four numbers this way, then click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Oh shit, my stuff's not showing. Ah! But I think I know who that is. One sec. <laughs> thank you for the host. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to refresh. Mix it off because I'm a clown. But, well, thank you. Regardless. And then my cat just finally freed me. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I obviously don't know what the fuck the number is. It's not opening. What am I gonna do? I'm just standing around and the water's still rising. There's no point just to the to just guessing randomly. I need to find some sort of hint. Maybe it'll unlock a hint somewhere now that it's a closet. Closet. Nothing much here. You don't need to... Like, it's fine. No one's here for you to, like, be respectful and put that shit back on for, you know, all clean like that, but... There's a lock with a keyhole in the blue briefcase. I mean, yeah. Oh, interesting. I hope this blue key works. Alright, let's see what happens if I put this blue key in the keyhole. And nothing. Yeah, it is actually. It's it's basically an escape room. Guess I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. Some sort of code? Damn it! Open you stupid thing! I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it if I whack it on the wall a couple times. That made me feel better. Not gonna help though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. You think they gave you clues in here and you're not just gonna die? Oh, Junpei. Oh, Junpei, buddy. You're so confident. A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. Not any clues? I mean, oh yeah, obviously. So, what could this mean? 
Because this has to correspond to the briefcases, right? But Felton Triangle... And the specific shapes... Mm. What? Because... And then there's also the arrow, because so, so, so it's like... Increasing value and like the filled in might be evens and uh, empty might be odds. Maybe. Well, there is also the picture frame. Can we take a closer look at that? No. Can we just break the frame so we can get into like whatever's in it? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, I was hoping he'd figure something out for me. But... Uh, I'm definitely missing something. Um... It's really any... <laughs> There's barely any space between the bed and the ceiling. I don't even- I don't think I'd even have space to turn over. I bet money this is for the poorer passengers. Or maybe the ship's crew. I've gotta die someday, but I sure as hell don't want it to be here. Yeah! Yeah, so it really is just... An escape room. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I can't tell anything from here. But surely the reverse image... There's gotta be something there, right? Maybe if I put something on the other side? Hmm, well I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh, damn, nothing here. All I can see from down here is the underside of the top bunk. It's pretty high up there. So this is the top bunk of the right bed. Sure is. Can't bring myself to call this a bed. It feels like a board with a sheet on it. It's pretty flat. Ooh. Combine that shit! Nope. Apparently not. Hmm, okay. Mm, well, the, uh, mm. What does this mean? What the fuck does this mean? Oh my god. It's already like this. The game just started. Like, the Okay. Mmm. Squares, huh? Four, three, three, four? Maybe? Or maybe, maybe if we combine the two, cause, is it four? Hmm. It can't just be the number of sides. Cause the, the orientation of the triangles has to mean something. And also whether they're filled in or not. So, so mm. Yeah, like I still have enough info. It's got light blue, blue and white stripes. Kind of reminds me of the Argentinian stalker team. Oh, I mean, I guess so. Interesting comparison. Actually, is there anything? Nothing left on top of the shelf. Ah. Like... The fact that I can't combine them is surprising. I didn't think so, but like I'd already tested the one combination, but mm, man. I don't know why I didn't think to flip these around. Not like it's doing anything, but. There's an arrow that goes all the way across the paper. It's red under the, re under the red symbols and blue under the blue ones. Mm, I mean, I can see that. Mm. 
built-in spots are the same between the two. Because it could also be like this one. Ah. It couldn't be that easy. You're not gonna... Hold up. I was hoping I'd have these in view the entire time. Okay, three, 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 four. It's not gonna be that. But... Yeah, nope. Buddy, I am looking for him. I'm trying so hard. Oh shit! This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. The screwdriver! Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not this stove has been used before. What's this? It looks red. Yo! Well, the screwdriver got the screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. A picture of an old cruise liner. And on the back... There it is! Okay. If I could... I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's oriented right. I can still read it, but I want it to be. So... Yeah, the blue code is... Uh... Zero... Two... Six... Three. Zero, two, six, three. Combining items. Select combine on the item screen to combine two items. If two if the two items can be combined, you will receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations of items you find in your search. Figure that one out, buddy. Yeah, it's, uh... Got zero, two, six... Four. Nope. Zero two six. Three. Zero. Two. Six. Three. Got him. All right. Let's see if these numbers work. Return of the key. And hey, it looks like it's working. Yes! All right, let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Thank you. Press uh, to open the file screen. Alright, let's see what's in this file. Huh. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. Hello, this is lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> Me. I have become lockpicking lawyer. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. I don't remember how to do this. I'm gonna write this down right now. Mm, you're right. Where's the notebook when I need one? God. I know I have like a ton of them. Okay. Ugh. It's so true. Like picking Laura is a cute anime girl. The more you know. I got my notebook out. And I got a pencil. Okay, okay, okay. Digital roots. I can just check this in the menu, but like, I prefer this. Yeah, numbers. It's greater than a single digit. Add the digits. Oh yeah, I've done this before. 
For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Yeah. Keep adding the digits in this mem in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. Example. The digital root of 6, 7, 8 would be... 13 plus 8... Uh... 21... 3. Hey, Mythblade! Good to see you! It's been good! Hope you had a good day! Therefore, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 is 3. The digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be uh, 3, 6, 10, 1. Therefore, the digital root of, I mean, it's like, it's like 1,234, but I'm lazy. It's 1. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Junpei goes back to school. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. Huh. I see. But these are for room six. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Not your room, though. Does that mean something? Yeah, they're the key cards for those rooms. New material has been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press to open the calculator screen. The calculator can also calculate a digital root, which will be important to the progression of the story. Oh, I don't even have to do it myself. Nice to me. All right, all right, all right, all right. The uh, red code is... Uh, 7485. Got it. Seven, four, eight, five. Yes, I unlocked it. He is so proud of himself. It's opening. Key cards. There's one, two, three, right? These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Yeah, you're missing four and five. Notably, you need one of those. Oh, I need to add up to five. Maybe. These cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's side these cards and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working? Why? Damn it! No, no, that's right. I still have cards I haven't used. Damn it, not again! There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course! The files! That file said something about a digital root. Oh, duh. A digital root. I don't know how I immediately forgot that I was going to be, like, relevant. Digital root. Digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There's a 5 on that door. So I have... Do I have to get a digital root of 5? I'm not really sure about this. Ah, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of 5 through the reader. Operating instructions. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all the currently selected cards. After you've selected three cards, click on the device. Okay, so we need to make... For like 14, should be. So. Uh, math. Um. <laughs> uh, I feel like, okay, six. 
13, 6, 7, and 1 should do it, right? There we go. I was looking on the lever. Alright, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise. Hey, Rocket Time, for, thank you for the follow. Or for, for, for follow. For the raid. I know what I'm saying right now. My brain's full of mouth. <laughs> but I hope you had a good stream. Let me give you a shout out. Hi, Control. Hope it was good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Huh. Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. The only door in and out of this room is right next to the weird device. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Junpei. There we go. He needed to walk away a little bit. I found it! I did this. Jinpei gets fucked up. Wait, is it, is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. <laughs> Understandable rocket time. <laughs> it's like that sometimes. Well, better than drowning, I guess. <laughs> Be sure to get some rest soon. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Woo, another door. I'm sure I'll be open. Water. Uh, let me go. I'm sure I'll listen to you, Junpei. Oh, yes, it opened. It's just that easy. What? what the hell? Nice place. This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A way uh oh Oh, shit! Shit! The photo of realistic water, yeah. Sea deck. B deck. Hurry. Hurry. A deck's next. A deck, A deck, A deck. Oh. What? Who the fuck are all you? People. A lot of people. Hey, it's Snake. He's gay. I know that about him. Um. I guess it's another one of us now. Yeah, I'm a, a dancer. Perhaps the Titanic. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. She's animated. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? Holy shit, it's Silver the Hedgehog. W what? Can't believe it. Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! There she is. That's nine of us, then. Nine of us. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! Oh, is that Talisman? They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, huh. uh, uh, this dude. <laughs> this is gonna die first. Ah. What was that all about? Hey, what the hell are you just standing there for? I know that voice very well, and yet I can't place it for some reason. Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go. Love that animation. Just mouth movement. Hey man, that was dangerous. Hey man. Huh? Four? Four? This one says five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? I also know that fucking the uh, silver, not 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 this guy. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. 
Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Get her ass. Open! Damn it! Yeah, it does he does kinda look like Teenage Killer. Yeah, that kill yeah. Out of my way. Fuck it up. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. It's it metal. Some other way. Vacant. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Oh, now his thoughts are all fancy. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. Damn it! Make another doors? digital route. I know it's not gonna be the, the solution, but just do it. Oh uh, yeah, like FMB type cutscenes. That's always interesting to see. I think I've seen you before. I have been like completely forgetting to read. I'm just like totally into the, the story. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Kill Pocalypse. I hope it's not a kill Pocalypse. <laughs> Thank you for the Slayer. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cliche. No, there's another reason I'm a you can his... and <laughs> you've been <laughs> Eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though he, she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <gasps> the clay caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Moving on instinct, Junpei left to catch her. I see where this is going, and I don't like it. Or so we thought. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. Different than I expected. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch on for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, laughing faintly at walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? She's the one who calls him Jumpy?! Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Akane. Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kuroshiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface, of course. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. But, he, but she bullied him. At that moment... Nice <laughs> ship. What? Voice. 
Of course that's your name. This is... That guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Familiar, how? Huh? Like how much? That's, that's an interesting little detail. You don't just mean that they know the name of it already because he, you know, said so earlier. Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Bracelets aren't. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find the digital find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. I see. That person signed doors nine hours? Yep. All right. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Done that already, buddy. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Was well, that what it said? We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. I mean, I'm using uh, that as a reference. It's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? <laughs> it's always nine o'clock somewhere. I think it's nine p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by six a.m. tomorrow. Tracks. The fact that this whole game happens in nine hours, even though I don't personally know exactly what I, what goes hey, on. You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Uh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. Uh, I have way too many questions. Yeah. What's Zero? going on? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nutjob just doing this to mess with us? Or 
is you have some other purpose. Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. Sometimes coincidences happen. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. I'm sure this won't be a waste of our uh, limited time. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. That's depressing. Thanks, buddy. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see hmm. an authentication device either. Just no. doors. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Ooh, hidden secrets. This one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> He's just down for it. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Uh-huh, get their asses. Huh? Take a closer look. A There's a keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? <laughs> no. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. Mm-hmm. There's an inverted triangle button by them. An inverted triangle button. May as That's well specific. Pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. That looks very familiar, but I don't actually know offhand what it is. What is that symbol again? What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. That's it. So Saturn on the elevator. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the oh, sun. Oh, sun. Symbol. Interesting. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did. I don't remember that. A deck, huh? Huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. There Two it is. Two doors next to the stairs. 
The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. Yep, don't remember this one either. This is an Earth symbol. I probably should know that. I live there. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal ah. plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. A dome of some kind. Get out through there. Be realistic. We need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words. We're in other words. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. It all comes back to oh, that. You mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. I think that's well, fine. Give me a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sail. Eight and a half. Uh. Hey, shut up. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are, who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Thank you. I was wondering about all their names. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. What, There's dude? Watching us right now. Well, actually, that's a good point, though. What are you going to do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? Mm. But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names! Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? He's seven now. Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. <laughs> Explain your logic. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, son means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Any of you chumps know Japanese? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Oh, okay. Okay. Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. A lotus. Okay. I suppose I know that now. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is. You can just like lead with that, you know. You can be like, "Oh, my bracelet number is eight, so I think I'll be Lotus." Like, <clears throat> I feel like, yeah. Are any of you Japanese chumps know your mother language? I, mm, the way they're like, I'll be, because my bracelet number is like so fancy I would about appreciate it. it. If you would call me Snake. 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 My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice, snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. I actually did not know this about him. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. 
You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Okay, I think I did know I did know this actually. All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. They already know that shit. It's not like there's any point to it now. We all know your name already. You're Junpei. <laughs> the dismissive pose oh. and everything. Then you should all call me by my name too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. I like that he's still silver. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. Alright then, uh, why don't we call you June? June? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. He's so awkward about it. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. But we know. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. Right, I forgot he was just literally seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Number nine. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? He's gonna die. <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. He's not nine, then. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. He doesn't so have a bracelet. Nine? He doesn't have a bracelet. Yeah. Nope. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should, too. I don't need one. Why not? Don't refer to me. Because I am not going to stay here. You with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. Uh. All right. Let me show you. He's going to kill I'm someone. Gonna do this. <laughs> He's going to stand up straight. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Basic ass bitch. Stay back. Ah. He does look like an extra, like you could tell from the start. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I cut open a poorly clover. That's bad luck. Clover, are you all right? No, she's not all right. I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Uh? The left. Huh? Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? They they make a th three though, which isn't useful for any of these doors. Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I don't think he could. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. I can't believe this guy at all. Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. This dude can't do math. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. That's a good point. How did he know that? Then, should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets? Also, even if they did make the right number, they need at least three. And find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. So they'll need at least, like... I don't know, depending on which door this is. Uh, either Ace or Snake. Math. Yeah. Door 5. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? He knows so much about the, how this thing works, and yet he hasn't gotten Snake to come over. It's like he knows exactly what to do. 
Good. Good. You're done. Next. He's been through this before. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Four, nine, one. No, no, yeah, that works. I was like adding it like after the fact. No, that that makes sense. Yes, I am. So. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh well, you get like a uh, four, so you need to add in and one after. No, not how that works. You're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> yeah, add him what up first. What are you doing? Do it. Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? You're consigning yourself to going with this dude. And Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Or wait, maybe I did the math wrong, actually. <laughs> yeah, I totally did. I'm... Mm, I'm a clown, perhaps. I doubted myself. This is what I get. Only three to five people can pass through one number door. Yeah, for No, cut the. Mm. Mm. No, right the second time. It's fun, four and five. Because you, you, you put them together into a single, like, three-digit number. It's not like you add them together and then... You know. <laughs> Thank you, though. I'm glad you think I'm at least a, a cute clown. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Himself. Get back. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Ha. <laughs> Don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Taking you a while, Junpei. Added to the ninth man's nine, four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. It's one door. It's a Good. single door. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. She has to go through. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. So here's the example. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! <clears throat> Open, damn it! I thought Ace was gonna die for a second. Shit. It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? But no, that dude is. Like some sort of beeping. Mm-hmm. No, it's that earlier. You're right. I can hear it too. I think we're gonna want to get back. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied. No, you're just stupid as hell, dude. I don't what? know. This, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. What is happening in there? Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me. <laughs> Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Nah, I think it's fine. Ugh, God damn it! Isn't it weird how only like these ones are painted in, but these aren't? That's more important to me right now. Why? Why won't it work? You're so Engaged. worried about him. Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my God! Oh my God! There's no time left. Listen. I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was 
was him. He killed me. It was him. Do you want to get sus more specific? <laughs> A beep? Did huh? that thing just make that sound? Vacant! Now we can go in. The display changed from engaged to vacant. Yeah, and some people take way too long in there, you know? Let's see if we can open it. Okay. You're just gonna uh, go right ahead. I registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Well, okay. Uh, do these all work? Mm, let's see. Okay, 5 plus 1 plus 8, 6 plus 8, uh, 14, that work. Uh, 5 plus 2 plus 7, 14, still the same thing. 5, 8 plus 6, yep. Okay, yeah, I, I just need to pick who I want to actually go in with. Okay, mm. But, mm. I'm getting. I I I gotta. Ace Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Lotus, I like her. Hmm. I think she's neat. Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. I'd like to know more about her. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. Also, saw the others. I don't want to see what's on the other side. At least I'd be the first you two. Guys ready? I'm gonna open it. And they have to go through. Oh my god. Oops. Good god. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He he blew up. Ah! Or not. June, uh, uh, are you okay? She saw anyway. What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? She did just Here see a uh, exploded body, so... How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? Is it really nonary and not nonary? <laughs> he used the F word! Can't do that in a family friendly the game. Then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. You spent a whole hour. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit zero is going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Blood and pieces of flesh. Yeah, he just ended up like that because he's... Dumb as shit and doesn't read the rules. That's no way for a person to die. <sighs> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. Do I'm we all remember? Like that. I'm getting out of here alive. Do you all remember the? We went over this, you know. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? Good as I have. I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Thank God someone's smart. Then he broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? 
You've forgotten the relevant part. Fuck him up. What did Zero say? <sighs> Everyone who verified has to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Wow, a gold star! The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. Oh my god, this guy. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... Ah. Uh. That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite knowledgeable. Anyway. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> Hand it to me. I see. This is Braille. I mean, yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. And he's gonna share it because he's a good dude. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. Not the redemption. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. Ooh. It does exactly what it says once you have passed through the number door. The red the dead. You must use the dead to stop the dead mayor in your bracelet. And the redemption. And the two. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this dead nail detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. Interesting. I have a small heart inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. Inside of you? Smiling while you are unconscious. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. In other words, you will be unable to recruit me yet. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a dead man. Think of it as a remote field, or timer, for the bar in your body. There is only one condition to cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. Interesting, I was 81 seconds, which is. Anyway. You must also keep in mind that the number of doors will close automatically after nine seconds have passed. This dude really likes nines. As long as the door is open, the dead will not function. 
One is dying, right? There it is. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. But he's a nice dude, so, so he saying, doesn't manipulate people with it. Unless only he's lying. Those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Because I don't know Braille to be able to verify that that was actually what that said. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> Alright. See you in a bit, Connie. Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! Are you having fun trying to take a shit over there? There's a bomb inside me. Oh, what made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Alright, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I mean, didn't we all? I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? <laughs> he thought he so, was special. All of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. So there's nine Zeros? How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room. And you woke up together. Interesting. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? The more you know. Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Uh, yeah, I am, actually. Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? So somehow, yeah, he knew about their connection even though they hadn't seen each other in a long while. Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a- Ring a bell? Ring a bell. Perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group? A number of things. Perhaps nine things? Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Probably not ethical. I mean, come on! 
A guy's dead. Technically, we don't know that. I don't know who the hell this zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Like, technically, theoretically, maybe. I that death could have been faked. With that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. That fast is fast around here. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Yeah, they got a split. That's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. Splitting the party. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. <laughs> Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. Oh my god, that's his reason? Do you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him? You got another thing coming. Yeah, she's a little... Mm... What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so... Oh, Lotus. Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door I respect Ace so much. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. Seven, one. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. Because he does. Another thing coming. That is. That's true. It does make. It's more correct. That's not an answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Can you though? So that's four, one, and seven. Nope. Can't do it. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. Wait, why was I thinking of Snake as one? Um, clown. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14. One plus four is five. But does the digital root of the other group equal four is the problem here. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Lotus, okay. Uh, eight. Three. Six. And five. Eight, nine, eight, three, six, five, eight, nine, seventeen, plus five, one, two, two, four. Oh, that works out, actually. <laughs> the project in this game is okay, the project in the next game is okay, good to know. Looking forward to that. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Double checking. 9, 14, 22, 4. Yep. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's 4. 
Perfect. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital route is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Yep, they'll be all right. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the night. Don't you want to investigate that, Junpei? I don't want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them? insist on door five. I really want to see it personally. All right, then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there, too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which door? Okay, but how would the... How would the group and work with... Door five. Let's figure this out because we got a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we know that three doesn't want to go through that door, and we don't want to bring six through. And we need to bring Junpei number five. So, in order to get a, uh, a digital route of five, with I mean. We could do a lot of groups of like five and three, so that would also work. But um, let's see here. Um, right along six and clover six eleven. Mm, but mm, the mm, well, it's hard. It's hard to do math. Um. Could bring along eight and two, and that would do it. Wait, no, nope. eight and one. Cause yeah, that that brings us to fourteen again. But if it's one, five, eight, now the remaining group is gonna be two, three, four, uh, six and seven, and that's equal to uh, two, three, four, six, seven. 5, 9, 15, 22, that works out. Hey, wait. I want to go through door 5, too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. No, you can't. I, I can't take you with me. Why? We're... Well, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well... Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. I suppose you could also do that, but... Please, please take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. No! Don't be so selfish. W why? Oh, Clover. Just relax. I ruined everything by insisting to go into this door. Hmm. What did he tell her? Okay. I understand. Ooh. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, Seven, and Snake. All right. Seven plus two plus five equals 14. And the digital root of 14, one plus four is five. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is 22. And the digital root of 22 is two plus two, four. We're okay with this. No problems here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, then. I think some of them have problems, but, like... 
The lever's all that's left. Okay. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Please be careful. We will. Time for fun! And it's open. Oh. That's messed up. That... that was the ninth man. You've got nine seconds, get in there. Oh. How can you... Well, do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. Let's go! Uh, damn it! The countdown started! Uh-oh. Shit! The door! There's no turning back now, and if we don't manage to find the deactivation device... That's it. Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should I know? Stay calm. Look around you. Okay, okay, uh, I get it. Ah, oh, found it. Right here. <sighs> Just that easy. <sighs> well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you alright? Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. All right, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. I'm sure this will all be fine. What can happen? And they're gone. Now. Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. Maybe this wall can be moved. Or not. <sighs> it's not budging. Only gonna happen when they go through. Hey, there's a door over there. A first class cabin, huh? B-53. Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? Could All people right, leave the lights Let's on? Let's go. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to look, but... Oh, you gotta. It's so horrible. I, I can't even tell what's what. He'd been wearing these. Do we want that bracelet? I assume it doesn't, like, work anymore, but... The bracelet's off. Oh, wait. Zero did say. The bracelet comes off when you're dead. But what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? So we can use it. Just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. Anyone need glasses? Oh god. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Gonna be seeing more of that. Huh. Huh. Wait, where did they... Through here? You lost him. There we go. Hmm. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? So I would assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. Time to Sounds look for like clues. Nice then bad. the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. Alright, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Here we go again. There's a lot to look through this time. Alright. Anything below the covers? A bed with a canopy. I've seen things like this in movies and stuff, but never in real life. True. You don't see too many these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but... I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. 
Ah, Junpei. Judge her by appearances, will you? And well, you should not. A large bed with a canopy. I must make me miss my own bed. And sleep. That we all. Score plate A. Mm, if only I knew, I knew how to read scores, that would help a little bit. Let's uh, transfer seats so we can project it if we really want to. Interesting. Mm. What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. I heard something strange. Something strange? That's just the uh, laminate wobbling. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. Text the most subtle of when you shake the projector sheets, whatever you call this. I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> no. Such a thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can- I eat, John. It's what I do. So true, I do eat, John. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Hmm. Yes, I could hear it happen. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. I don't see how that's related, but that's pretty cool. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Hell yes, Snake. I love oh, him. Really? I love him. You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? <laughs> uh, snake. I must warn you. You'll no doubt regret it. Uh. Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's <laughs> resume our search, shall we? He really is, yeah. I could beat you in a fight. I hope you know this. Like, damn gang, alright. Didn't say shit. So, this is the locking thing. It's flashing red. That's usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? It looks like a satellite dish. Let me see. Hmm. Well, judging by the feel of it, I would guess that we were meant to produce some sort of sound. And this device will sense it and unlock. I wonder what kind of sound. But clearly there's more of these. Doesn't look like there's a keyhole in this door. True, but there's some strange device in, in lieu of one. He's right, though. There, there really is a strange device. Uh, I think... What's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah. Then I imagine it'll prove very helpful. You'd best hold on to it, Junpei. Okay. Map screen! It's now possible to use the map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during story sections. But on the map screen, you can examine the map of the ship's store uh, floor plan, which you will acquire over, over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, what we saw before. Calculator. Uh, an upright piano. From the feel of the wood, it must be quite old. Alright. Put that. A music stand. Well, might as well put this glass plate on it. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? It's kind of hard to see the notes. Maybe if I put something under them? <laughs> Feeling wood, such a... Hmm. A background for the notes. It's totally a table with a mirror. Ah, oh, yes. You know, that sort of thing is known as a vanity. So true. 
Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. As such, you can see that every day, when a woman looks into one of these, she is staring at her own conceit and narcissism. This fucking dude is a redditor. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? An antique vanity. There's nothing in the drawer. Yep, totally empty. A window. There's an iron plate nailed to it. Door number one. Is that the one we just... No. This is the bathroom! It's full. The bathtub is full of water. Is there ash or something in this water? It looks kinda... gray. Let's just pull the plug. No, hold on. Huh? Maybe we can... I don't know. Use it for something? Use it for something. The bathtub's full of gross, cloudy water. The lights, huh? Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. Thank you, tall guy. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from New York and boy are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. That's not a mic, Sven. <laughs> Sven. Seven. That, that just became his name for me, like, right there. It's just a shower head. What? What the hell? Well, the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. Could be gas. Well, I guess you would still hear something, though. It's a sink. The bar doesn't appear to be working. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair. A college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a beanie. Stuck in a cramped bathroom. But this beast of a man. What would my parents say? Huh? Something wrong, Junpei? You looked real sad over it all of a sudden. Hey, Zerk, thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, no, nothing. There are a couple of light fixtures in the bathroom. They seem perfectly ordinary. Nothing else, though. It's a heavy piece of paper that's been folded in half. It has score printed on the front of it. Score. That's gotta mean musical score. If that's true, then the score we just found was probably in here. At least at some point. Eggman lights, they do look like that. There's a cover for a musical store sitting on the table. Can I take it? Apparently not. There are a couple lights on the wall here. It's a chair. A chair, huh? That chair looks nice. Mind if I take a load off? I think you'd be doing the opposite. Man! Rude ass. That chair does look pretty comfortable. This couch looks just big enough for three people. Looks well, perfect for me! What? Perfect for, <laughs> for an elegant gentleman like myself. Did I check the bed? I did actually, yeah, I got the score. The couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey! There's something you aren't saying! Uh, never mind. Yeah, interesting that I can't actually use the... ...score on the thing. Ooh! Huh? There's something in the back. Oh, after getting the score? Uh, I should check that again. I did get all the dialogue about, um, Clover, though, so that's cute. Let's see if I can reach it. Just a little... Damn it, that's hot. You aren't real smart, are you? Come on, of course it's gonna be hot. It's a fire. Even a monkey knows it shouldn't stick its hand in the fire. 
<laughs> You're a fucking idiot. There's an iron grate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Well? A fireplace, huh? Don't see one of these too often. Aren't a lot of people these days with real... Bleh. Aren't a lot of people these days with real fireplaces and real fires. And it's a fireplace. Hey Junpei, what's this? <laughs> the Thinker. By... I guess Rodan. Right on! Amazing. Glad I clicked on that a bunch. <laughs> Seven gets his revenge. I get it, you're gonna use the space, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill this thing with water. B Thanks for- I didn't consider that. I was just gonna see if there was anything in it. There's one space on this table. Was this the door? No, it wasn't the door I entered there. Hey Junpei, where are you going? Did we come out of that door? No point to going back there. All that's out there are a locked number door and... A dead body. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't- I, I don't know where anything is in here. I know there's a map, but I'm not... Yeah, let's check out this closet. It looks like there's something inside this cabinet. Score play G. G, huh? This is a suitcase made of leather, the leather, the color of rich mahogany. Let's see if I can talk today. Well, shoot. It's like there's nothing in it. How about the lower one? It's a leather suitcase. Dang, nothing in there. Just the one thing, I guess. Okay, the room that I have not been in is the toilet. It's a closer one? Yeah. There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Nothing that looks suspicious. There's some toilet paper in a, in a dispenser on the wall. There's a to some toilet paper in a dispenser on the wall. Alright, I'm gonna pull off, pull off some of this toilet paper. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Hey, Junfei. I don't really think you need that much. Well, I just like wipe the slate clean then, shall we? All right, fine. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. It's a toilet. Nothing strange going on here. It's a toilet. Nothing suspicious here. I think. Jinpei, look! There's a hand coming out of the toilet! Just a joke there, kid. Not funny, man. I'm too old for this shit. Incontinence is a problem many older men struggle with, but there's help. A clean bathroom. There's nothing in the toilet bowl or the tank. There has to be something else in there, right? I mean... Maybe... None the not on the shelf or anything. Either way. Hey Junpei, we just found that blue vase, right? You think maybe we could use it for something? Alright. Shouldn't be too hard to fill this vase up. Vase filled with shitty water. Mm, it fucks up with this water. Doesn't even come out. Uh, but what the fuck do we use it for, though? Maybe we put it in the toilet? I don't know. Put it in the tank. Large bed of the canopy. Man, this makes me even sit on my own bed and sleep. Large bed of the canopy. Yep, yeah, it's... Yeah, still the same. Parfait brain. The face is an upside down you are, so true. Wait, yeah, there is actually another room that I haven't gotten to. Uh, safe. The safe is locked. 
It's one of those dial locks. There's now the key. We just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Did you find anything, Seven? Nope. Now by dear snake. I also found nothing. Fantastic, guys. Only got A, C, and G. Briefcase! Oh, there's suitcase. There's nothing inside. I can tell by the weight. And it makes no noise when shaken. It's a leather suitcase. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. It's a leather suitcase. There's nothing inside. But what if there is? Unfortunately, I cannot watermelon. Sad news. Oh, well. Can we layer the music sheets on top of each other? I mean, surely not. Like, clouding them up. No. Yeah, no. It's a small round chair. Looks like it probably goes to the vanity. Oh. Wow, this fabric feels great. I bet that chair is really comfortable. It's a white desk. Snake's rubbing it. Hmm. This is a high-quality desk. Teak. Or perhaps mahogany. Wow, how can you tell? Oh, I have my ways. Good to know. It's a white desk. It seems a little fancy to me. Hmm. So what are we using this water for, though? Do we want to put it in the sink? It's a sink. Water doesn't appear to be working. Yeah, no, apparently not. Might as well try everything. Oh! Alright, time to put this fire out. The light in the bed, okay. About time, buddy! Let's do it! Here we go. Ha ha ha! Or whatever you want to fucking... I'm not good at laughs. Good job. Another success! That fire didn't stand a chance. Seven insulting for Pavrin? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I'll just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down the sleeves. So... Well, mm, yeah, I suppose we want to just put it on the piano. Ah. Hey, Seven. What the hell was that? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. Is this sink actually letting out gas right now? What the hell is wrong with me? There's memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Uh. <sighs> memory loss? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't tell you, huh? Hey, Truna, this escape's going well, I think. It's interesting so far. Yeah, I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. We just put out a fire with dirty water. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? He doesn't remember. If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, yeah, uh... I guess that's true. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Uh. Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down in the D-Deck. But that was a while ago. I've had He's some time used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Well... People usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. You'll figure it out. Oh. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. I I looked at that earlier. I was like, nah, I should try that out. And yet. Hey, that's, that's it? That's it. Uh, All right, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the advice. Something like that. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 
Okay, though, we got our shit. Which of the doors? It's the right door. Piano we go. Might as well put the music I found on it. I'll put the ceramic plate on the bottom, and the glass plates onto... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, I put them all on top of each other, but they look odd. Doesn't really look like a song. Hmm. Then in all likelihood, we haven't found them all. We need, but we need to find more glass plates. We need to find. Hmm. That makes sense. Antique vanity. There's nothing in the drawer, right? Yep. Crap. Crap. There's nothing. We had mentioned the lights. The lights are lit. The lights are lit. Unless, 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 unless. Inside the store again? There's the other closet, but we didn't. We didn't know what was up with that. Nothing else in there. As far as I can tell. A piano keyboard. What is Snake doing? He can't play, can he? Poggers! This piano! There's something I missed with the keys. Let's look inside. You mean it's out of tune or something? No, no, not that. Yeah, not that. It's probably tuned, just... Well, the sounds are clearly purposely different. The C key doesn't yield the C, but rather a different note entirely. The same goes for the D keys. They play some other note. Huh, why do you think it's like that? Isn't it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. This piano, you see, is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. In other words, we need to play a song on the piano. I believe so. Hmm. Sure don't see pianos like this much nowadays. These keys are all messed up. Oh yeah, that's right, I got that score plate earlier. Well, at least we know that now. It's a light switch. Nothing happens when I press it. What about this light switch? Yeah, apparently nothing. Nice man's body's on the other side of that door. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? This is some sort of antique desk. Makes sense though, I guess. This whole room's full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. Let's sell it then. What the fuck are we doing? Nothing else in here, right? Looks like it burns coke. What? Well, burned. Past tense. It's out. Wait. Thought I just saw something real fast. Mm -hmm. Nope. Anything else here? Yeah, we just got the score plates for now. There's nothing else here, right? And th uh, these were empty. Mmm, man. That's a little class to the room. So true, Jumpy. Mm. What am I missing? A bed. A bed. A bed. Junpei, I cannot help but notice your interest in the bed. Perhaps you are hoping we will spend time on it together. Got you! I... Don't say stuff like... Damn. It's not a mental image I want. <laughs> it's a bed. 
I don't want anybody getting the wrong idea, so I'm just gonna leave it alone, okay? <laughs> Glad I found it. Gay, gay, bisexual, gay, canon, gay. Love snake. The lights are lit. What haven't I looked at? Because, mm. oh, let's see, the canopy over there, which is, like, really eye-catching, so I want to think there's something to it, but, mm. What's flow? Oh, interesting. We do get to see the different branches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's like the one thing I knew about Snake is that he was canon gay. Bye vote. The items we got, still just these. Like, is there something in the hallway I'm missing? Mm. Wrong door. Here, here, here. I... I mean... I could look at it again, but I need to, um... get the rest of the score plates in order to put them all together. So I did try, but... Oh, you know what? I might be able to still combine them now, so... I think I did try this, but... Yeah, not even after it's mentioned. Let's don't do anything in the chair. Nope. Nothing going on there. This is the same as ever. There's nothing else in this room, right? Nothing. There's like a little something on the case, but I think it's just part of the lock. The bath, you're right, we can drain this now because we don't need it anymore. Man, this water's dirty. I can't see more than four inches or so. I can't see anything down there. Hmm. Do you think... Think what? There's a plug on the end of this chain. Good call! Alright, why don't we just drain this water? Yeah, good plan. Alright, where's that thing? A good tug ought to be enough to get it out. Huh? Got another one! There's nothing in the bathtub anymore. To get in now. Surely this isn't all of them. Although. AGDC. Mm -hmm. Music stand. It seems as good a place as any to put this music we found. Blah, 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 blah. Sweet. Now I can play the music. Junpei, would you be so kind as to play the piano? I am unable to, you see. I'm sure I needn't tell you, but... The keys on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, let's give this a shot. Um, well, you see, mm, mm, uh, do I remember my notes? That's been a while! <laughs> 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 
There we go. Yeah, of course, because it's... Nope. Yeah, let's just try and figure it out first. Black keys don't do shit. Did I just not even... We return to that. Yeah, it's on the same line. I'm not sure how that escaped me. Nothing to it. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it. Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand! Bow! Be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's what it was. I thought it sounded familiar. I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no. Zero almost certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not min middle school. Westminster? The palace in London that plays host these days to the Har Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the fa famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London. The capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. I would love to. Alright. Hey Jazz! Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Let's go. I just completed a puzzle because I'm so smart. I found it. Another hallway? Hmm? Oh, there is. I don't think that what's that description there? That should do it. Interesting. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. Nice. Hope you're having a... Well, I mean, clearly you're having a good time with Elden Ring. But I'm doing well. It's starting a whole new game. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Smart. Ah, why would you want to come back here? Because he's smart. I might like to play a little piano. <laughs> or that. Snake was a reasonable one. Someone thought about it for a moment before he answered. Piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. I mean, is there, like, an advantage to seeing it through here? Well, then? Hmm. Yeah, okay, this just gives more description rather than... Okay. Interesting. I can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. So he's got another goal. Mm. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked then? I have no clue. Hey, wait for me. Whoa, a, a metal grate? Thing. That's always your first attempt, isn't it? Figures. Are those 
Elevators over there? No way to know if they're working or not from here. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Uh-huh. Yep. That figures. Okay. Trapped again. Stairs leading down. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Uh, and it's locked too. there's Venus. Look. What's this mark? The female symbol. You fucking clown. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? They reference many of the solar bodies. Interesting. And there's nine of those. Shit, all right. Oh, that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. Hmm. Hold on. Where's seven? Uh oh. Ah, there he is, down that hallway. This way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm. I wonder if this door will. It was a French that? door. It opens. Actually unlocked. Look at this fancy place. I haven't even been reading this goddamn things, but you know what? I might as well. I've been like going on and off because I've just been getting invested in this. I am professional. It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind made him turn around. Snake was shaking the door they'd just come through. Well, this is troubling. Uh-oh. As Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration and then kicked the door for good measure. It seems we are once again locked in. Very professional stream moments. Forgetting to narrate. I'm just reading over here. There was no reason to panic, however. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit, then. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling. Let's go. Quickly now. Spurred to action by Seven's words, Junpei and Snake began to examine the room. Woo, another escape room, baby. Uh... All right. Well, we gotta look at the drinks first. Or just, you know, glasses. Hey, Junpei, I found this on the shelf. Huh? That playing card. Interesting. Looks like the top of the canopy bed. There's a whole lot of glasses on that shelf. Doesn't look like there's anything else back there, though. Junpei, I found this on the counter. It feels like a playing card. All right. Seven and four. Wow. One of our numbers and one that isn't. Well, but you look at that. Someone left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Ah. Oh, that hits the spot. Feels like, like, yeah, feels like my throat's burning. Damn, he really drank it. We don't even know how long he's been there. <laughs> yeah, actually, he does feel like a watched up street magician version of how. The counter's pretty well polished. It's over there, though. Hmm. 
There's like something right there. Clicked on this, but sure. Playing card. There's a five. There's nothing on the table anymore. Standard run-of-the-mill chairs. How about this? Still can't get it. A square poker table. There's nothing on it. It's a chair. Yep, totally a chair. It feels like a chair. Nothing more, nothing less. Unless. This is just a chair. There's nothing else to say about it. I think we're all discounting the chair way too fast. Those are some strange looking chandeliers. They look kind of like the UFOs from that movie. Michelle's Farm Tools. What the hell kind of movie is that? A number of luxurious chandeliers hang from the ceiling. Check out that same glass! How beautiful. What? Huh? Saying glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. The same glass is recessed into the wall. All I can see in there is lighting pictures though. Probably means same glass doesn't look outside. Stained glass is built into a recess in the wall. It's actually really beautiful. There are four uh, chairs surrounding the square table. Suddenly, Seven began to speak. Ah, uh, Bakura. You ever played Junpei? Oop. No, I've never. Junpei shook his head. He barely even heard the game. Right on top of it, clearly. All right then. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? Please and thank you. Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's going to win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games, too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. Oh, interesting. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it. So we need to make a number ending in nine. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a nine. The weakest hand is a zero. You just ignore the number in the tenth spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. He hadn't asked for it, but Seven's expl explanation, fresh though it had been, was helpful. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? You're yeah, asking, fair point. There are three open slots. Then I guess we try everything. Feeling more confident, if only slightly, Junpei approached the Baccarat table. I can see the playing card behind the thick glass case. It's the Eight of Spades. Okay, but I want to get this first. Definitely don't have the right cards yet. So we need to make a nine without going over with the three cards. I think. We got, I mean, we got a nine here if we can do two. Uh, unless this counts, I don't know. Hey, okay, seven. Are we really supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table. What the hell else would we do? Hmm. Ah, stop worrying about it. It's real simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an eight in that, in that glass case. Okay, so we're competing against that. Alright, and that's your opponent's number. Overcomplicated blackjack? Yeah, a little bit. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get, uh, do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of indentations with light, white lines around them, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So, 
Place three cards here and defeat the opponent's eight. That's what I gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Something tells me that those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I sh start... <laughs> For sure, that too, though. I better make sure I've got the rules straight. There are three empty indentations. I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figure if I put them in the right spots, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give this a try. Ain't gonna work! But sure. And we can't just stop at that. I mean, there's no way we could make... Yeah, plus 7, 16, yeah. Can't just go over and then still get it. That's a square... Uh, that square table. It looks like a Mahjong table. Do you play Mahjong 7? Uh, maybe? I don't remember exactly, but... I do remember a couple hands and some of the rules, so I must I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once we've vacated this vessel, I should like to play a, a, a game with you. Can you, uh, play? So long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating, yes. I believe I at least have enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. sense. Why can't we just stop all this and play Mahjong? It says one on the plate. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. The coin slot. Interesting. This slot machine is a pretty old-fashioned setup. It's well-maintained and probably still works. Number two. There's a plate on it that says two. Heart, spade, and diamond, same as that one. Fashion design, that was what I said. There's also a nine over in the wall. They're all the same. Ace. It seems that the card is attached to the panel. And attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is this? It's a playing card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. Here's the card slot. Looks like we need to put a playing card in here. Alright, let's give it a shot. We, we need an 8 for that. It's not working. So it would seem. I am shocked and appalled that guessing at random has not yielded better results. Thanks, Snake. Yeah. And no shit. Damn it. This isn't exactly working out the way I expected. It's locked, isn't it? Is there a keyhole? If there is, I can't find it. Well, there must be some way to unlock it. Let's look around a little more, shall we? We've already found it, by boys. I don't know. I don't think we need to. There's firewood in the fireplace. Well, wonders never cease. Interesting. Circle, circle, VV. Oh! Clover, diamond, heart. What was that? I heard something down there. Coin bag! Did I just try on one? It doesn't really matter. Don't do shit. Oop. Didn't see that shit. Six. Is that what I need? No. Yeah, in order to make a nine with three cards. Definitely want to use a three. So two, three, two, three, and four. Wait. I got it. I've got the three and four. 
but yeah, we don't have access to the ace, so... Wait. Yeah, no. Two, three, and four. Just a matter of finding the two. Just that easy. I'm sure it's just, you know, easily accessible. Oh, duh, the coin bag. All right, let's put a coin from that bag in here. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coin got stuck. Oh, dear. The coins are stuck. Don't think mach this machine's gonna work anymore. Number two. All right, let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. All right. I don't know why I thought that like, clicking those buttons was going to do shit. I'm going to close my eyes. Nailed it. Can I really... I mean... Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's going so fucking fast, I can't... Man, is it really gonna be like this? Cause this is going the fastest, so I should stop it first. Mm -hmm. How many coins do I have? Infinite, probably. No, he stops in seven. I'm sure there's some way I can like figure it out, but based on where what's showing up when I hit the button, but uh, it was spade and I stopped it and it was hard. This one, stop it on spade and it's spade. Yeah, that's, it's slow enough that you can just stop it right uh, on the number. Pit number, the uh, symbol. I mean, I guess there is one number in there, but you know. I tried letting it do like a half spin after the seven, but no dice. It's just gonna be slot simulator for a little bit. Maybe I wanna try the other one? Hmm, this one's a tough one. And what is so tough of, I might ask? Getting these reels just right. Timing is, well, it's not easy. I don't believe you need to hit them just right. Huh? Yeah, there's some other secret here. This is the main body of the slot machine. Junpei, you know what to do, yes. Main body of the slot machine. There's the coin slot on the upper left. Junpei, perhaps you should be more careful in the future. You got the coin stuck in the machine on the left. Please don't make the same mistake again. That would be bad. Thanks. I know that. Slots, though, baby. It'll be fine. Jerk. I'll put this coin in the slot and I'll show him. Uh huh? Oh, that's weird. Do you intend to lock us in here? It's not my fault. The coin just got stuck all on its own. Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, I need to find some way of rigging it. Heart, spade, and diamond. Hmm? What do you mean? The symbols on the reels. They're the same as the playing card symbols that I saw over the fireplace. But this is different. Junpei, are the reels the only place where you see the symbols? Huh? Don't you think the symbols might be found in other places as well? 
Apart from the reels. Huh? I mean the front. Thank you for the hint. Time to go hunting. There's a bottle with some boost on it uh, and it's sitting on the counter. One more sip. I don't think so. I'm cutting you off, pal. Oh. Seven looks like he'd very much like to get acquainted with that bottle. Mm. Sorry, buddy. All right. Anywhere else that has the symbols. I mean, the cars themselves. Surely not. That's a diamond right there, but I don't know. A lot of diamonds in this room. I guess I could still try to use this shit. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. They said these symbols might be somewhere other than on the reels. Yeah, I like the cards. That's right. That blue bag we just found is full of coins. Yeah, well. Well, usually the way these things work is that if the reels match, a whole bunch of coins come out. Exchanging those coins for prizes is the best part, though. A prize, eh? I wonder what might happen if we were to match all the reels. I imagine the prize would be the tools that would lead to our escape. Where else are the symbols? I mean, like, it's here, but... Well, at any rate, this gate is very impressive. It feels like granite. It seems to be elaborately decorated in several places. A shame I cannot see it. I mean, do we need to use this clover diamond heart? Our clubs, you know. Diamond heart. But it wasn't in the same order. Can it? How did I? There we go. So I've got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. No, the reels aren't important. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. All right, it was Clover. One more time. Clover Diamond Heart. Is that what I want to get? Oh. I see. Seven, seven, seven. Yes, seven, seven, seven. And I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Junpei. It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for the dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you would. Thank you for explaining. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card. And this... A key with the Venus symbol on it. Excellent, Junpei. Now we'll be un yeah, able to open the gate. Then we just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Junpei. Hurry up. And he's off. There is a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card... That too... 
Then we go over here, we beat the 8, we get that 8, and we use that on the door. Yeah, 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 we know the rules. Get, got him! Alright, if I just put down these three cards... Yes, open for me! Hey, Frankie Slime with the raid! Thank you for the raid, let me give you a shout out real fast. Hope you had a good stream. There you go. Hell yeah, Dead by Daylight stream, let's go! Axel Axley, thank you for this for the follow. Hope you had a good time. Good to see y'all. Hope the stream was good. I'm doing well. So a new game to stream. Well, I say new. New to me. Great! You did it, Junpei! You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Alright, let's take this card. So we're doing some escape rooms, basically. Eight, baby! Then we can do this one. <laughs> nice, good to hear. And then you go. Hey, all right, it opened up. It seems we have another device to contend with. Yes, there are slaves. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me use my speech correctly. My speech skills. There's three slots in this one. Let's see. Three slots for cards. And there's a nine right below them. So that probably means we gotta make nine with the three cards we put in the slots, right? Just like what we did over the background table. Alright, let's give it a shot. Do I just need to take those cards back? Or unless. Cause. Yeah, mm. 11, 18, yeah, I mean, well, by Baccarat rules, that'd be an 8, but by Digital Root, that'd be a 9, so it just depends what they're looking for. Alright, so I put all the cards we had left into the slots. Yeah, but please, yeah, go to take care of stuff you need to do. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the raid. What happens now? Is that? Yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go. All right, let's go. Did it. Yeah, you could call me something of a genius. I don't know. Because I did find it. Junpei and his companions ran out of the casino and into a large open room. A room, in fact, that they had been in once before. There was little to surprise them there. They already knew what the next what their next step had to be. This way. The iron gate still stood in place, locked tight, blocking the stairway, and right in the center of it. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. Wasting no time, he pulled it out and shoved it into the keyhole. He turned it. With a distinctive sound of metal on metal, he felt the lock click open. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem, let me help with this one. Junpei grabbed the handle on the left side, and Seven took the handle on the right. On Junpei's single, yeah, single signal, they both pushed and the gate creaked open. Oh, the other group zoom off. as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. He's very talented. Good to hear. Let's move. Hey, another raid. Let's go. Mix mix six. Thank you for the raid. Let me give me a shout out real fast. Hope you had a good stream. Ah, Dead by Daylight. Were you perhaps streaming together? But welcome, 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 welcome. We're doing some 999. 
and get Amiis. Thank you for the follow. At Seven's words, they leapt onto the stairs and jogged quickly down them. But I hope you had a good time. I think I already said that, but just to make sure. In no time at all, they found themselves on sea deck. Everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Hey, did it? Hell yeah, I'm glad Slime recommended. But please, yeah, do get some rest. And thank you for the follow. Rest well. When you reached the water, he called back up to Snake and Seven. Just what I thought. D deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. The surface of the water below uh, below them was flat, like a mirror. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? They began searching around and taking stock of what was on sea deck. There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. And that's oh my god. What planet was that? Another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. Uh, uh? What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> Jinpei! <laughs> yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. That was a pretty good one, kid. <laughs> Seven to uh, tussle the... Tussle? Is it tussle? I think it's tussle. Seven tells of Junpei's hair in what he likely thought to be a friendly manner. Junpei feared his neck might break, even though it was clear Seven had kept his strength in check. No! Oh, oh, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. Thankfully, Snake interrupted. After Junpei's observation, He'd gone over to examine the card reader. This is a Mercury symbol. Mercury, that's it. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff. Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. You are pushing it. You are... That's a stretch. Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> At least someone's enjoying this. Seven shook Junpei's head even more vigorously, and the younger man began to feel as though his brain was being jostled about inside of his skull. Seven, oh, that's too much. Oh, my head. He's gonna die. Junpei's stomach began churning uncomfortably. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. Just completely ignoring that. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that what elevators? I've already forgotten. Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. That's gonna take a while. Ah, oh, shit. There we were a great time to check all these, are we? <laughs> Got the damn read them. <laughs> there were a great many doors lining both sides of the hallway. They seemed to stretch on forever, and all three men suddenly felt very small. Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right of the stairs, another hallway stretched out, reaching deep into the bowels of the ship. To the right this time. After a few moments of moving briskly down the hallway, they emerged into an area roughly the same size and shape as the one at the top of the stairs. On the left side of the room were four French doors. Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Junpei nodded and grabbed the one closest to him. He gave it a small tug and felt it move. Oh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. Thrilled to have found another unlocked door, he threw it open. He's so excited about doors. He loved doors. Junpei didn't know what to make of what he saw. What? Hey, there's the seven and eight doors, and it's the infirmary. Oh, and three. 
He simply stood, unable to speak. <laughs> and we got a 2, a 7, and a 5 here. So, I mean, that only tells the, the, the one thing. So, it's not like we can go through the Azores, but... Hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge and empty. After a few long moments, seven at least managed at last managed to speak. Yep, yeah. you know, yeah, uh, distractions. <laughs> it's it's fine. <clears throat> a massive room stretched out in front of them, more a cavern than a room. Its vastness was oppressive, and it bore down on seven and Junpei. It was not empty, however. The entire room was filled with lines upon lines of beds. They were simple things, little more than pipe and thin mattresses. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. Did you just notice? Three of them were emblazoned with large single-digit numbers, made with thick red paint. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? Maybe it's open? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. The three of them threaded their way through the beds, toward the back of the room. Upon reaching them, they proceed to investigate each door in turn, but to no avail. You probably don't want to go through them anyway. This seems a little unsafe. <laughs> yep, locked. Just like I thought. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Suddenly, Seven spoke up, interrupting Snake. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, huh? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Love when they repeat after me. But this one. There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No. Nope. Yep. Nothing. Junpei and the others put their hands on the panel, but nothing happened. The red refused to change. They tried pulling the lever, and still nothing. As they soon discovered, it wasn't only the red on door 8 that seemed to be malfunctioning. How about the red on door 7? And door 3? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. I feel like there's got to be some reason to also use ADV screen, but I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Or we gotta power them somehow. Hmm. While Junpei and Seven talked, Snake busied himself with examining the red. After a time, he lowered his hands and spoke. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. There it is. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red. If you please. The bottom. Junpei obliged and bent over to look at the underside of the device. Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot, or something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? <laughs> get his ass. I mean, you would think it'd be pretty obvious this part of the puzzle, y'all. 
Just then, they heard the sound of a door opening. Uh, what now? It's the others. The three of them turned and saw Akane. Oh no, Junpei thought it's June. Oh, he's about to say the wrong name. Got it. She stopped short, surprised to see them, and was very nearly uh, bowled over by the rest of her companions, who were coming through the door behind her. Ace, Santa, Clover, and, and Lotus. Guess everyone's here. They took longer. Junpei and Seven were, for the moment, at a loss for words. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. They were obviously going to meet up at some point. After a moment of silence and surprise, everyone suddenly began to talk, desperate to exchange information. They talked about the rooms they'd been through, and how they'd ended up in the same place. Of course, none of it was very useful information, but that hardly mattered. They were happy sim to simply see one another again. Although the level of cheer varied greatly from person to person, each one of them was wearing some manner of smile, almost as though they had already forgotten about the deal of uh, yeah, the death of the ninth man. No, thought Junpei. Perhaps that wasn't it. Perhaps thoughts of his death were what drove them to smile at one another. Not in a morbid or hateful way, no. The ninth man had died. But they were still alive, and that was something to be happy about. A sort of simple, uncomplicated un joy, if I can talk, Jimbei thought. The joy of being alive. Still alive. He felt sorry for the ninth man, but more than anything, Jimbei was just happy to be alive. And that's Living. what we know. <laughs> Living in this situation is easy, you just gotta not break the rules, it's fine. With that, Junpei finished his own explanation. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Okay, it took them so long to get over here because they're checking all those. Yes. There are a number of the individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. Hmm. Confusion seemed to be the consensus. Yeah, me too. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. No one, not even Snake, appeared ready to offer an answer until Seven unexpectedly spoke up. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. Huh? The Gigantic? Junpei looked at Seven, chalked both by his knowledge and the apparent identity of their prison. He was not the only one. What is this Gigantic? Seven nodded to Lotus and he began to speak. The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. Huh. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Lord Gordain? That couldn't possibly be our man. It seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying right. this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I did. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Doesn't it look like it? Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh... 
this ship's Lane and Gemma. like the Titanic and the hospital ship. So, I just figured. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. It, no, I, I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean. Hey. Uh, Seven looked around desperately, doing anything to avoid meeting Lotus's piercing stare. He scratched his head for a moment, then gave up. Finally, he opened his mouth. I don't know. Lotus sighed and shook her head. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Then, almost as if to save Seven from further embarrassment, another hour has passed. A bell began to ring from far away. Oh, a bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten. Jinpei counted 11, each chime carefully. Twelve. Ooh. Huh, twelve. I need to be out by what? It's midnight. Is that, was it? Then we've still got six hours left, right? Yep. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. They had been examining the room as they talked. But we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. Yeah, all those other rooms. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just Here have to we go. the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Lotus did not seem excited by the prospect. Seven fidgeted nervously before responding. Uh, maybe. <sighs> and he knows that pretty dang well. Could he be the guy? Well, he isn't old enough, I would imagine. After some discussion, the eight of them decided which rooms to begin with, and in what order they would come. Well, it was a hundred years ago. So, probably, unless there's some weird time shit going on. Junpei was chosen to search the rooms on the starboard side, moving from fore to aft. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! They also determined when they were returned to report their findings. The next time, the clock sounded the time. When it did, they would meet back in the large central room full of we'll beds. We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. Yeah, during their search. Any one of them were to locate the missing components, they were to yell for the I'll others. Shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If this strategy failed, they returned to discuss their options later. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. The details decided, they left to begin searching. Out into the hallway they went each to the rooms they'd been assigned. However, they didn't find shit, did they? From far away, Junpei heard the bell ring. It did so only once. It was 1 a.m. It's 1. I better get back to the others. Are they all gonna be there? He jogged through the entrance of the large hospital room to find the six of the others already there. Huh? We're down one. Ace, Santa, Clover, June, Seven, and Lotus. They had gathered in front of door number eight. Or perhaps to be accurate, they had gathered in front of the red next to door number eight. What are they doing over there? Had one of them found the missing piece? What happened, guys? It was June who answered him. Jumpy, look! She was pointing at the red. He pushed through the others until he stood in front of it. Immediately, he knew what she had meant. Vacant. 
Jinpei sighed. Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... Jinpei wondered why she was hesitating. The others looked as confused as June, but kept their mouths shut. What the hell? What is up with you guys? They all knew something he didn't, and Junpei wasn't about to leave things that way. What did Snake do? Finally, Lotus frowned and spoke. Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. Junpei looked at the bottom of red again, just to make sure. The slot that had been opened on the bottom was now covered with metal. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. Junpei quickly examined the other two boxes. It's just as you said. Satisfied that they were also repaired, but still very confused, he returned to the others. What the fuck does Snake do? Alright, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here. Right? Correct. None. Ace and June nodded silently. I mean, I think he didn't do anything. He got, like, stepped into a trap in one of the rooms and that activated the... Uh, all the, um, reds somehow? You know, repaired them? I don't know. Seven raised his hands as if to say, not me. And Santa just shrugged. <sighs> Only Clover lowered her head and did nothing. Huh. Wait a minute. That was when he noticed. Where's Snake? 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 Junpei swept his eyes across the room a second time, but Snake was nowhere to be seen. Does that mean that he found them? It certainly seems that way. I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Jesus, Santa. Clover raised her head. No! That's impossible! Suddenly, she was shouting. Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he would have definitely heard the clock going off. So he... he couldn't get lost. That's impossible! Clover had started to shake, and the knuckles of her hands had gone white. <laughs> she spun around, but before she did, Junpei noticed tears welling up in her eyes. I'm gonna go look for him! The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to hey, run. Uh, hold on, Clover. Wait! Junpei cried out to her, but he was too slow. She kept going, and before anyone else could react, she was gone. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! They would be able to make... A five... Nope. A six. And is that one of the doors? Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an... Excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain Man. here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Junpei and the others nodded to one another and took off at a run. In front of the stairs that led to B deck, they decided to split up. Let's split up. So they did. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. I'll see you all later. Soon, only two of them were left. Yeah, I figured. Those two were Junpei and Jun, who had been a few steps behind the others. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. All right. Where would he have gone? The hallway with all the rooms seems like... I mean, can be. A uh, large hospital room... Possible? If he put those in there, he would be somewhere around there. Uh, first class cabin. B-deck. Mm, 
I don't think... I mean, the casino, I don't think we would want to go, like, back there, but... Yeah, uh, but of course, the first class happened is also returning to the first place we were in, which had been left open. Let's try it. Oh, what about the first class cabin on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. They took off up the stairs at a run. Outside of the first class cabin, they found Clover. Oh, she was standing in front of the wall. She was staring at a meaningless point on the wall. Her eyes blank, so probably not the room I was thinking of. It's fine. What should Junpei do? I mean, I gotta talk to her. He did his best to f sound friendly, but Clover didn't respond. Look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... He could think of no words to say that didn't sound hollow and fake. Junpei hesitated. Clover was so consumed by worry and fear that Junpei feared it would crush her. Her actions didn't surprise him. She had suddenly lost her brother, who seemed, who she seemed to have been very close to. Her voice was thin and barely audible. Hmm? Is that part of his name? Hmm? I said leave me alone! Nope! Suddenly, she was screaming. So annoying. Just go away and leave me alone. Just looking at you guys, it's pissing me off. Hmm. Go away, okay? Just go somewhere else. Stop bothering me. I'm sure she'll be fine. Junpei was taken aback. Uh, um. Such anger and hate. Jun's eyes had gone wide with surprise as well. Why are you still All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. They turned and left Clover. <laughs> Aww. As they did, Junpei glanced back over his shoulder to see Clover wiping tears from her face. Clover had driven home the misery of their situation, but Junpei told himself that getting depressed would get him nowhere but depressed. I suppose that is true. Feels like she's kind of, like deep inside, just concluded that Snake is dead. We really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. He did his best to push away the misery and depression and force a smile. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? Oh, I'm, I'm Akana in this case, I guess. Hmm, I don't think he would have gone back to the casino, but. Uh, I feel like he had to be somewhere in the room. Let's head back to the large hospital room. Wait, she was like getting really emotional. She like immediately burst out at um, who was it who had said? Silver, I think. Um, I mean, Santa. Uh, who had just who was just like genuinely expressing concern. Like, I mean, he was being a bit of a bitch about it. I'm not gonna deny that. Um, he was like. Yeah, I couldn't even get around. And she was immediately emotional, and she was also, like, not saying anything before that. She's, like, looking at the ground, and that, like, that alone brought her to tears, and she's probably realistically heard worse sent to him. I feel like she saw him in there. Alright, that's probably the best idea. Together, they ran down the stairs. Hey, wait, that's... Santa! On their way to the large hospital room, Junpei and Jun noticed Santa, standing next to the number three door. Santa? Junpei paused. What should Junpei do? Talk to him. Junpei and Jun walked up to Santa. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? It's bothering me a little this, bit. The guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? Santa's eyes narrowed as he looked at June. 
She shook her head. I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Snake, Lotus, Zero, someone other than the eight of them. Oh, you know who it could be. What if it was Clover? What if they found it together and somehow... I mean, they were, they were investigating different rooms in theory, but... Snake feels like the obvious answer. So it couldn't be. But also, yeah, Lotus was very, like... Like, she was the first one to arrive. Zero is like, no. Maybe there's someone else on this ship with us. You mean someone hiding here? Yeah, well... Well, I mean, it's just an idea. <laughs> You're saying this mystery person fixed the reds? It's as likely as anything. Yeah. Why? That's, um, I don't know. Santa shoved his hands into his pockets and cracked his knuckles. Seems unlikely. Why? I don't know. Just a feel. Hard to believe Zero would bring in a secret tenth player. Unless. I mean, the name of the game is the Nonary Game, for Christ's sake. But he probably intentionally set up the original ninth guy as just a, you know, a little lesson for us. You know what nonary means, right? It means nine. No, that's not what I meant. I mean more like someone who's been living here for a long time. Ooh. Or someone who, like, stayed here. Seriously? That's even more ridiculous. Why do you think Zero would leave them alone? Jinpei furrowed his brow. So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Santa grinned. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. June's also acting like a little bit suspicious, just like slightly about the door, since she wasn't really like curious initially about the guts of the thing, but it's like that it could also easily be her just like not realizing what Santa's trying to do. Of course. I don't know. It could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Mm, could be Clover. Junpei stared at Santa. There was something about him that made Junpei wary. At first he'd assumed the other man wasn't terribly clever, but Junpei was beginning to think he would need to reevaluate the assessment. When Santa spoke again, his voice was quiet. Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. <laughs> Lovely. With that depressing, uh, depressing suggestion, he turned and quietly walked away. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Junpei and Jun looked at one another and smiled awkwardly. They haven't met each other in a while. It's been since elementary school. She could be a very different person. Well... Can I go back to the first class cabin? Why don't we go check out the first class cabin? All right, let's go. Is it just gonna be the same thing all over? <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. But where? Ah, uh, casino, well, how I guess. About the casino. Let's go take a look. They turned and headed off the hallway to their right at a jog. Before they knew it, they were there. So was Lotus. She was leaning against the wall, examining her nails. Hey, what do you think you're doing? She glanced up at him, in unimpressed. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? The fact that they use the number two? Mid text? Sure. Is it? <laughs> Just immediately refuse and leave. Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? What? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? 
Oh, shit. Mm. So that'd be a six, a five, and a eight. Eleven, nineteen, ten, mm, one. That, well, well, you kind of need a couple more people there. Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital root would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Yeah, and the options for that would be snake. Uh, um, this was five. What did they say? Mm, clover. And eight. That'd be. Oh my god, who's seven again? <laughs> seven! Oh my god. I was trying to think of the funny name for it, but no, he's literally just seven. So yeah, uh, snake, clover, or seven. Huh? Who? What? Isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Then the four of them could go through the number eight door. But Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. One, two. Uh, one, two, three, and four. That would be... One. Well, why don't you add them up? That was simple enough. One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. And one plus zero equals one. The digital root for those four would be one. That's right. And They'd be you stuck. know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. So she says... Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. No, she's thinking it through. She just doesn't care. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. Oh, yeah, that's also true. It is hidden, door nine. but an exit can be found. Yeah, speaking of, door 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Total up to 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, uh, 28, 36. Yeah, okay. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a 9. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. 10, 15, 21, 28, 36. Yeah, yeah, okay. And like in theory, if we'd still had the other guy, number nine, we would have also been able to get out with that. So it's not even like he was a necessary sacrifice. The digital root for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Lotus scratched the back of her ear. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? She didn't sound particularly bothered by what Junpei said. Nor did she seem particularly surprised. Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Oh, Regardless, shit. at least three people will get left behind. Forgot about that! Well, I mean, you can... You can, you can, you can figure that shit out. I'm sure it'd be fine. Huh. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. 
The moment he said it, Junpei felt a chill run down his spine. Yeah, because only... Mm. Hey, Tanara Nifumi, thank you for the raid. Let me give you a shout out. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Idol manager, hell yeah. Also, uh, Igor of Lord Binary, thank you for the follow. Oh, We're doing a bit of 999. Nine. You're skipping over a really big detail. Yes, what she said was true, but how Lotus could remain cal uh, cavalier about so terrifying a prospect was beyond him. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? Oh, boy. That's... That's just... Lotus's forehead furrowed. You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. Of course! Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good time. Junpei and Jun turned and began walking away from Lotus. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Junpei's heart felt heavy, and his steps sluggish. But he told himself pessimism would get them nowhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, F. I feel that. <laughs> this is my first time playing it personally, but yeah. Think about those old DSs with the fragile tinge. Well, uh, regardless. So he forced himself to smile and turned to June. Let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. Jinpei nodded. All right, where should we go next? Only one thing left. Let's go back downstairs and check <laughs> the out that hallway broke. with all the doors. So true. Together, they ran down the stairs. Oh, it's Ace. Ahead of them, far uh, farther down the hallway, they spotted Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Snake! Snake! Answer me if you're there! What should Junpei do? Well, that Ace handle is fine. Let's go. With June in tow, Junpei jogged up to Ace. Hearing their footsteps, he turned to greet them. Hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. There's also a time limit. Right. June's face looked kind of enraptured. Mm. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh... Why would you say that? They do look kind of dissimilar. Why would you say that? The question seems somehow odd to Junpei. Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. <laughs> all right, go get you some rest. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. And I will certainly try. He just looked at him for a moment and then spoke. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Now that you mention it? Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. Junpei wasn't sure why, or even if he was seeing what he thought he was, but he could have sworn that Ace's face tightened as he spoke. Somebody's lying! At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. At June's urging, they left. Where does that leave? They found themselves back at the stairs, but Jimpei's mind was in turmoil. Something about that was... I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. Jimpei did his best to clear his mind. All right. Where should we go next? We've been to all these places. Let's go take a look around the casino. Okay, let's go. They quickened their pace and headed for B deck. Hmm. I suppose she's not here anymore, so we can like go. But there's no one here. Let's try somewhere else. 
Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. It's really close. They turned around and took off down the hallway to their left. Now everyone's disappearing. <sighs> no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. But where? Let's head back to the large hospital room. I suppose it would make sense that we return right, here. That's probably the best idea. I don't think anyone is here. Hmm. What next? Oh, right up the the, the finish searching button that's been here the whole time. A snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. Lotus looked frustrated. Uh, looked around at six frustrated spaces and spoke. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. Junpei couldn't disagree with what she was saying. Snakes seem to have completely disappeared. There's no point to wasting any more time. Mm. Well, not like that. The others seemed to be having similar thoughts, but they stayed silent. Finally, Seven spoke. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yeah, we're down to six. And that's not enough. With three doors. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Uh, I also forgot to put in near it. She walked back and forth across the floor, her heels clicking against the wood. Finally, she stopped. One, one sacrifice, huh? Mm. Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. Mm hmm If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, uh -huh. then only one person will be left behind. Love it. Cool. Great. Uh, 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 what we should do is we should leave people behind to get Snake and Clover through. So there's a three and a seven and an eight, right? For the doors. And the options we have. Well, most importantly, Snake and Clover, but they specifically need to get through one of these doors. Between, since they're a Four and a two. Their best bet is taking Ace with them through door number s seven. So that's four, two, one. Which leaves. Let's see. 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 Santa. Junpei. June. And you, ma'am. Although I'm not sure she's going to agree to it, but Lotus. Uh, so... Yeah, so that's a three. Three, five, six, and eight. Mm, but still doesn't split up correctly. She's got a point. Because mm. that's right, right? That's, that's the only way it can work. Damien. I don't like this at all. I hate it. I really hate it. In theory, we could also split between two doors. 
because 3, 5, 6, and 8 would total up to 8, 16, plus 6, 22, 4, which none of these doors are for. Uh, eh. But... Mm, How can we get them through door number three, maybe? Because they're... They're two and four. They're six. And in order to get them through door three, we need, we need to add... Eight and one. Right? Yeah, eight, one, nine, plus... Plus six... 15, mm, wait, hold up. I have to actually write this down so I can think about it properly. Because, mm, yeah, two, four, eight. So, six, 14, five. <laughs> love us. Love it. Yeah, that wouldn't quite work. Come on. It's in order to get three. Wait, nope. Foolish. Uh, yeah, in order to get three, we would need a 12. Alright, so. We would want to add in six, but that means like we are in June, but which would be bad. I don't like that. But it's gotta be someone. So mm, I feel like she'd be the most amenable to that kind of thing. Her or Ace would be up for it. But uh, if, we, if we have two, four, and six going on their way, we could have one, three. Seven and eight. Or one, three... F yeah, one, three, seven, and eight. So four plus seven. It's eleven, nineteen, ten, one. Mm, shit. Uh, does any of that... One, three, seven, eight. Yeah, because it doesn't give them... For to add, mm. it sucks so bad. Uh, if there to add three to that group, that'd be nine plus six, fifteen, six. Nope. Mm. Add five, six, uh, six plus five, eleven, nineteen. Mm. Oh god, okay. Cause how do you get cause you need sixteen to get seven. So in theory you'd need to add another four. And you need seventeen. Alright, so that should work. I'm maybe just doing the mental math wrong here. Cause uh Hey, think about the hydrates here. We'll see you. Yeah, 2, 4, 5, and 6 would be 12, 17. Yeah. And now it'd leave behind. 1, 7, and 8. Wait. 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 3, 7, and 8. Forgot Santa. <laughs> um, but one, three, seven, eight, four, uh, eleven, nineteen. Right. Which would get us two. So there's really no way around it. Someone's getting left behind. If we can sign Snake to death or we just assume he's already dead be hard to convince clover to go through him that's for sure but it might be easier to split hmm. 
<laughs> but this is also probably asking me if these were even possible. Because, uh, because mm, he's including the three people you're leaving behind in the teams of two teams of four and three, right? In this instance, she's saying only four people make it through, correct? But that doesn't account for. I think she. I think she's just let me deal with some snake is dead. So there is that. Um, hasn't consigned Clover yet. Who? Although she's probably not back. Just a guess. Just a guess. 3, 7, and 8 would be 10, 18, 9. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't like this at all. Uh, how do I split? 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 7, 8. How do I rearrange this so they're actually able to get into two doors? Ah. Uh, so. One of them's got to overflow and get to three, I think. I think. Because otherwise it just kind of doesn't work. Or get to 12, anyway. Which of them would... From there. Uh, but... In order to get 12. With this total... 6... 6, 1, and 5 would work. Leaving behind uh, three, four, seven, eight. Nat totals seven, fourteen, twenty-two, four. Damn it! This shit sucks. But if we uh, move a four over to our three total instead of three, seven, eight, and four, six, one, five, what does that get us? And first of all, it gets um, the first year. 4615 would be, just, just to make sure, 12, 14, 5. Mm, well, the. Because hmm. I was wanting to make 3, but yeah, that doesn't really work. Or uh, turn the 3 into a 7. In order to get a 7, we need to make an 18. Or just straight up do a 7, because like, that could be done. But I'll, no, not really, though. Well, the six and the one, no. No. Well, the one, four, and three would be eight. So that'd be like a simple arrangement. And then that would leave six, five, eight. And seven, which totals up to. I'm just gonna keep going through permutations in here. It's just gonna be how it is. That's 18, 26, 8. Correct. Because. Yeah, yeah, that'd be 8. What was one for there again? 7. That's, that's the only combination. And that's without snake. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, one, four, three should total up to... Nope. Nope. Nope, I'm a clown. That's, a, that's an eight. I don't know how that worked out in my brain. I think I've just been doing math for a, a few minutes too long here. That's... Mm. There's... Ugh. Too much. Just too much. Uh, yeah, I guess I say a name. So how? Mm, this sucks. I don't like it. Okay, I'll make a different combo for the eight, maybe, and see if that does anything for me. Although I don't know that there's anything I can do. Yeah, because like the simplest combo for an eight 
It's one, four, and three, and trying to do it through like overflowing into like an 18 or a 17 rather. Can you do that? Seven, six, and four would do it. So that'd be an eight. And then the other remaining one would be. Hope you're all enjoying math stream. I'm not certain whether or not I am. Yeah, one, five, eight, three, four. Okay, four, nine, seventeen. I hate this. It all it all becomes eight and eight. Yeah, if you try to make eight with one group, yeah, okay, obviously. Obviously, it's gonna be the same on either side. Ugh, because it splits perfectly. Um. Yeah, because, like, if you add them both together, yeah, 16, so therefore. Ugh, <laughs> okay. Mm, and this is. True. One last thing. I imagine it's gonna have the same outcome. But, yeah, another one just makes 17 would be 8, 6, 3. That again gives us 8. Random group. I'm just, I'm fighting against, like, fundamental rules of math here. Like, there's no reasonable way this could ever work out. You know, I'm over here like, well... I haven't checked yet. I haven't tested it. So, like, technically, yeah, nine, eight, yeah. It's the only way. There's only. I was thinking, like, surely if there's like you know some like combination that end up like you know you add things together differently somehow and it just but no. This how math works. But yeah, the ideal situation here. Ideal situation is we leave behind one. Well, two if you count snake. <sighs> Cause yeah, if you add together five, seven, and four, you get nine, seven, seven. Yep. Yeah. So if we leave behind Ace, if we leave behind Ace, we can get everyone through door seven and eight. Not sure. Jimpe wasn't quite sure that was true. Yeah, that like wait a minute. The like leave behind three one is like excessive. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two. Oh, we're we're conflicting on the I, I assumed he was just like already past this. You know, the whole, like, snake gets left behind for sure thing that she was on. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. Oh. Unless he's just correct. Oh, no, 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 no. He is still correcting her answers. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Oh, wait. No, he's just doing just the math wrong. Numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. What's the digital root for that? Three plus seven plus eight is 18, so add one, eight, nine. Exactly. But door nine isn't here, right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. Now I just look like a fool. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but... The result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. I sure do. Anyway, that's how it is. I, d I hope that doesn't affect anything. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. When Seven spoke, his voice was strained. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. Oh, the other boy, six yeah. to survive. 
then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No, that's too cruel. We'd also sacrifice um Jinpei as an option, because uh we'd remove a five from one of the eights. Don't do it! What's so cruel about it? To to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Santa sat between Lotus and Jiren. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Sh sure! Exactly. That's how democracy works. <laughs> democracy! I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? It's no, gonna be one of these! That's terrible! I'm not asking you, shut up! What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. Alright, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do oh, something, boy. we're all gonna die. It's gonna be a split, isn't it? And now I'm gonna have to make the choice. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Oh, she is back. Clover had moved away from the group and was sitting on one of the beds. Her whole body drooped. Jinpei didn't know if she'd even heard Lotus's proposal. Hey, Clover. Lotus walked over to Clover and gently laid a hand on her shoulder. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? And died! Oh shit, Kami! Oh, and Kami's at the raid! Let's go! A double raid! Hope you had a good stream! Let me give you all the shoutouts real fast. One, and... Hell yeah! Double versus your rain stream! Sounds fun! Hope you had a good time! We're doing some 999 and going through some emotional turmoil! Look at the raid again. Oh. <laughs> we are, um. Things are happening! Clover slowly lifted her face. Let's go look for him together, okay? And the possibility of them going together? I think there's an option for that. Mm. I think you can work it. I think if you do... Mm. Since <laughs> got cocked life and strength. Oh no! Also, double duck, take for the follow. An F for the cock? We sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? I like this is fucked up, but I want to see where it goes. Okay. Clover nodded once. <laughs> the motion carries. Lotus spun around and walked towards Junpei. Now, let's start a vote too. That won't be necessary. He's just gonna volunteer. Ace had barely spoken for Lotus's entire speech, and everyone jumped a little. Six pairs of eyes turned to look at him. He didn't seem to notice, or even care. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? You were the one that I personally eliminated, yep! Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that! That won't solve anything! June's voice shook. And she looked around, uh, looked around desperately for someone to agree with her. <laughs> Courage through the final boss. <laughs> Amazing, awful. That that's a cock right there. My condolences. Ace simply looked at her. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Ooh. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
there's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them, you won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. Unless... True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. This is my first time playing, yeah. Finally, Junpei could hold his tongue no longer. We've only got five hours left. Yeah, you're fucked. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? Ace's voice was dignified, and without a hint of cruelty or malice. God. Junpei had no rebuttal. You see, there's no other choice. Yep. Then Please. I see we've mm. come to our conclusion. He's fucked. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go quickly. Junpei stood. If I can talk, Junpei stood frozen by indecision, unable to move. Uh. <sighs> Jun bit her lips so hard that Junpei feared she would break the skin. Santa stood against a wall, calm and aloof. Seven tore his beanie from his head and turned it over anxiously in his hands. Only Clover stared at Ace, with an expression Junpei was unable to decipher. Lotus's attitude, however, was different from the others. Hmm. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Great! She smiled, her eyes bright. Ace off- yeah, Ace answered with a smile of his own. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. <laughs> I hate my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Gonna be the last nap you take! As he spoke, Ace lowered himself on, uh, down to the floor next to one of the beds. Yeah, don't take the beds. From somewhere deep in the ship, Junpei suddenly heard the screeching of metal on metal. It was almost as if the ship were screaming. Would it really hold until their time limit was up? Already, D-Deck was flooded. In the sudden silence, the only sound was the sad metal wail of the ship. Unsurprisingly, it was Lotus who spoke first. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? As if a spell had been broken, the others all began to talk at once. You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. I don't think there's any thinking left to be there done. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Mm, there's not, yeah, though. Let's think. There's gotta be another way. His words sounded hollow and fake. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Uh, she spun around and ran towards Ace. He had slumped down next to the bed when June grabbed his arm and pulled. Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! <laughs> hey, Decaf Leon, yeah. Decaf, Decaf Leon. Nailed it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, he's just Santa. He's just Santa. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. Then it happened. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. Ace fell forward. Yeah, he doesn't have any of that in stock, apparently. Doesn't really suit the name. He slumped over on the, onto the wooden floor, his body folded in half like a boxer out cold. Ace! June cried out and dropped her knees beside him. She put her arm around his neck and did her best to lift him up. What happened? Ace, say something! She shook him frantically. He is dying! His eyes fluttered open. I'm alright. No, you're not! His voice was weak and slightly slurred. How are you alright? This. 
He held out his left arm and slowly opened his hand. A syringe? Ah. In it was a syringe and a small vial. The vial was empty. Oh boy, um... It had only recently been empty. A few drops uh, clung to it, the sides. There's a label taped to the side of the container. It read Silveril Beta. Don't know what that is! Silveril Beta? Silveril Beta? What does this do? Did, did you use this? Yes. It's just anesthetic. I'll be fine. Oh no! <laughs> thank you for the lure, Kamiya. And thank you for the raid. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Oh, Why boy. did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. <laughs> Is that really anesthetic? I really am. Very tired. Or is it? Junpei knew that wasn't why he'd done it. Ace had just injected himself with anesthetic to forestall Junpei and Jun's attempts to bring him along. If he couldn't move, there was nothing they could do. He'd injected himself so that they would be forced to leave him behind. Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. It's over. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace's eyelids drooped further and further. Almost as, as though he were dying. Almost. She shook his shoulder again and again. But this time, he didn't respond. Only the gentle rising and falling of his chest told told them he was alive. Junpei was relieved to see that he was in fact still breathing. Let's get him up on a bed. He lifted Ace up off the floor and laid him on the bed he had been leaning against. When Junpei turned around, Lotus gave him a look of pity. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. Right? <sighs> like you even mean that. Eh. You say something? No, nothing. It felt wrong, but he had to agree. <laughs> go, don't go to sleep, you, may, you might be concussed. Yeah, right. You might... It's not a good idea in here. Then suddenly, Santa spoke. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Consider considering, like, the way this boat shudders a lot, I feel like he probably chose the floor on purpose. Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. Mm. Oh, yeah, that works. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Works for my whole setup. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? Seven. Yeah, say door number seven. I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. There we go. What? What did you just say? Her face distorted by rage. Lotus took a step towards seven. He threw up his hands and made a face like a child caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. She shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. All right, who's next? Tenta's gaze moved across the three people left. Finally, they stopped on Junpei. Junpei, which door do you want? Junpei, for my whole plan, is going to need to go into door seven. At last, Junpei's mind was already made up. And this way, we will get to go along with Clover. Then also, obviously, seven. I think I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. All right then. That means June's got to go through eight. What? Why? What? <laughs> Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself. 
but finally began to explain. If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Plan A. Okay, I'm gonna see all the potential ones I could have done. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. I'm gonna write these down for future references, in case I want to do the other route, but... Uh, yeah, so this is for the uh, three, seven, eight doors. Yeah, three, five, eight, go through seven. Four, six, seven, go through eight. So in this instance, Junpei goes through seven, the same as this one. But instead, he's going along with uh, Santa and... Um... Oh my god. <laughs> Lotus. But this uh, this round actually isn't an option, possibly, unless it's about to give me that, because uh, Lotus volunteered for... eight immediately. And vice versa for seven. Four, and five, and seven go through seven. And three, six, and eight go through eight. Five, seven, go through seven, three, six, eight, go through eight. That was my plan. Three, six, eight. Through eight. Plan C. Four, three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. Three, six, and seven, go through seven, four, five, eight, get eight. Yes, that's another round where Junpei gets to go through door number eight. Wait! Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, okay, that's, uh, that, no, that's the only one there that he actually goes through eight. I can read. Yeah, in that case, I would be partnered up. Jumpy would be partnered up with Clover and Lotus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, actually, good point. Oh, and uh, Decap Leon, this is essentially, yeah, it's a death game. It's like a, an escape room type of unveil. Lots, lots, lots of fun little puzzles. Uh, essentially, they all have assigned assign numbers and have to make their digital route. Uh, match that of the doors I want to go through by combining into groups of three to five. It's, uh, mm. Could have chosen door three. Yeah, God. I feel like, because, like, I had tried to do a couple things with door three, but it seemed like I could never do that without leaving behind, leaving behind more people. But, yeah, no, actually. No, right, because I could have chosen it in the options before. It no, probably no would have just been like... Yeah, you can't do that. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. <sighs> yep. Good for them, too, for uh, seven and Clo uh, seven and uh, Lotus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like that'd just be another case of Junpei being called out for being an idiot. <laughs> you get it now? As Santa finished, June looked over at Junpei, tears welling up in the corners of her eyes. Oh no! They're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <laughs> it wasn't that long the last last uh, go around. Yeah, though, they still can't. Five and six are always split up. <sighs> Junpei felt just as June did. He wanted to be at her side through whatever trials they were preparing to face. But he knew if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June. He was scared to lose her, but... He swallowed, sealed his resolve, and did his best to smile. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. 
This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? And we could have gone in there together, so... We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? Probably. Th they would have to for the game to work properly. My cat is going into my dresser. Mm. What you doing there, buddy? She's just having a great time. She didn't sound very hopeful. It was Seven that interjected. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to connect somewhere. Why? Wh what makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Mm-hmm. June said nothing. Mm -hmm. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Junpei. He met them. And with what reassurance he could manage, laid his hand gently on her shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again, I promise. June bit her lip and gave him an almost imperceptible nod. This feels weird going through this route when you we had already split up anyway. Yes. Promise? I get why it's like more serious now, but like Her voice was barely above a whisper. Santa's voice chattered the moment. <sighs> you guys are done, right? He stretched and continued. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? I mean, we already decided on that group thing. Or actually, no, they hadn't picked the last couple members. Whatever. Clover looked away and was silent for a moment. It was more of a dismissal than an agreement, but Santa didn't seem to care. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. At Santa's command, the group split and headed for their respective doors. Clover, Seven, and Junpei walked towards door seven. Santa, Lotus, and June headed for door eight. For a long moment, they stood in front of the door. Seven took a deep breath. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. What could happen? What could happen? It's open. A narrow hallway stretched out before them. Seven and Clover leapt through the door. Let's do this! Hurry! The moment they did, their bracelets beeped. The detonators and the bracelets had been activated. Junpei stepped forward to follow them. But as he was about to step over the threshold, he stopped. What? <sighs> he looked to his right. Toward door 8. June stood there, a mirror image of Junpei. She turned and looked toward him. Their eyes met. They nodded. June. Jumpy. Their farewell took almost 1.5 seconds. Y'all! What are you doing, Junpei? Then someone took hold of Junpei's arms and hauled him bodily through the door. I wonder who. He heard the sound of the numbered door slam shut behind him. His brave sled uh, gave a cold electronic beep. Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Seven led the way down the hallway. Junpei and Clover followed him as fast as they could. After what seemed uh, like far more than 81 seconds, they reached the end of the hall. Look! The door on the left! Just... I can see the dead! <laughs> you can- what?! Oh yeah, the dead, right. The dead. There's no time to rest or catch their breath. All three slammed their hands in quick succession over the scanner panel on the dead. Here we go! Oh 
We all good? Still trying to catch his breath, Seven leaned heavily against the wall. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> his smile seemed forced and a little crooked. This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but... Whew, you never really get used to it. You don't get used to anything on the second try. He stood up straight, no longer out of breath, and wiped some of the sweat from his hand, uh, uh, his head and neck. Clover smirked at him. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. Ooh, get his ass. What? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! You have no... You little... You wanna die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat. All right, let's go! Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. It's not going to do us any good. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh. Junpei sighed. Sometimes he wondered if the, if the doors and the puzzles were really the greatest challenge they faced. Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm going to go see if there are any other doors. They didn't respond, but Junpei wasn't in the mood for a conversation anyway. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. Don't believe in yourself, buddy. You should believe in yourself. Oh, my model. I thought I had more time before my phone died. Hold on. It's just gonna be motionless for now. And I was like, you know, I can wait. It'll be fine. Clown. Anyway. At last, he gave up and returned to Seven, who was tapping lightly on the wooden door. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door. On that uh iron plate. Is it another planet symbol? Symbol. Sim symbol. Parfait zoning out in class, be like, yeah, me. Really is. In fact, I said me to that. It says operating room. Operating room, that sounds pleasant. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Yeah. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Yeah, you can say that again. Something about it made Junpei feel nervous. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Seven grabbed the brass knob and slowly opened the door. The creak of the hinge sounded like the groan of an old woman. What? Uh, what's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. A chill snaked its way down Junpei's spine. Let's just go. Quickly, he gathered what courage he could and took the first step into the room. Seven followed, with Clover right behind him. Huh? Part of the room just past the door was obscured by a screen. I hope they have teeth in the operating room so true's here. What the hell is this? Well, that's... I mean, screens in this context. Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover! Clover's curiosity got the better of her. And she darted past Junpei to peer around the screen. Ah! Yeah, I didn't... That's what I expected. Her scream nearly blew out Junpei's eardrums. What? Clover! He and Seven ran toward Clover to see what had frightened her. Hey, what's wrong? They rounded the screen, and the cause of her outburst was immediately clear. What? What A model! What is this? Is... Is this a corpse? Y'all. Use your eyes. It was something that looked kind of like a human, lying across some sort of bed. No, not a bed. An operating table. The table sat on a rusty steel lift, and a cr cluster of bright operating lights shone down at it from the ceiling. Wrong shown there, buddy. But it's alright. We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. Yeah. 
Slowly, they approached. I'm back, baby. As they got closer to the body, it became clear that it wasn't a body at all. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. For practice. A doll? Clover did not look terribly comforted. Slowly, she approached from the operating table. There, she approached the operating table, and looked as intently as possible, from as far away as possible, at the at the thing. <sighs> Junpei could see her relax. You're right. It's only a doll. It's fine. It's just a doll. Man, it really scared me. She heaved a great sigh of relief, and wiped a few drops of sweat from her forehead. Seven smirked. <laughs> Well, I guess it would've been weird if you actually had any balls. Anyway. Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Oh, <laughs> what's this? You want a piece of me short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale! Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. I think she could beat his ass. <sighs> Jeez. Anyway... Looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. <laughs> I'm talking about a heart. Damn, Jibay. Now that you mention Transmisk, yeah, the legs are kind of long. Because, uh, I mean, like, each part of your leg is, like, about... Like, a little shorter than your torso, if not about... About the same, about the same length. Um, and they're like, I mean, roughly, but they are a bit long. They're a bit long. It's like, this isn't even like, like they didn't measure this as part of the leg and they just, like this, this segment right here is how long it should be starting from here. Have our failures supposed to fight 14 year old girls? Yeah, well, she, I mean, she wants to fight. I think, I think she's allowed. If she's like initiating, she, she can fight oh, anyone this? she wants. You mean on his chest? Yeah. Gonna take it out? Yeah, yeah. I think the torso is just like too small and so on. Listen, listen, listen. If the fourteen year old comes up to you and asks you for a fight. I think you can. Sh I think you can humor them. I think it's disrespectful to them as a martial opponent to not. <laughs> it was set a little higher than normal for a human body, but from the shape of the organ, there could be no doubt that it was a heart. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's, like, a medical mannequin or something? I mean, I figured that was just the word we were using for it. Or maybe it's got more personal uses. Hey, Zen with the raid! Welcome, 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 welcome. Let me give you a shout-out. We're talking about whether or not it's moral to fight 14-year-olds if they um, ask to do so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Seven. Seven's grin was more than a little perverted. <laughs> Thanks, great time to come in, by the way. But hell yeah, Metal Gear. Hope we had a good time. Okay, but the 14 year olds being a ship by asking for a fight, why do you respect him as a martial opponent? That's, this is a fair point. This is a fair point. Hell yeah, nice. <laughs> you beating a game on stream and I'm just starting one. <laughs> Clover glared at him. Anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Thank you, Jibe. Okay. Sure thing. It's just It's not that serious. There's just a mannequin in here. That's it. Okay, first of all, we obviously have to grab the mannequin's heart. These dolls are really kind of creepy, you know. Hey, it says something here. John? 
Do you think that's Estelle's name? Maybe. This thing is creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. To be operated on? A creepy medical mannequin is lying on the bed. Apparently his name is John. Hi, John. John is just lying there. Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. You think maybe it's a scale? Huh? There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? Can't. There's no handle. Can't get under it with my nails, either. There's something that looks like it'd be a, sh a scale next to the operating table. It has something that looks like a lid on the front of it. A white cloth. Feels like it could be something more, but, you know, sure. An operating table. Do you think all the operating tables look like this? Ooh, I gotta check out your new clothes. There's now a cat on the back of my chair. I have no idea. Mug! It's not mug, but... <laughs> it could be mug. They use these for surgery, right? Let's see, syringes, cups, a plate... There's a sort of scissorish thingy. There are a bunch of surgical tools on the table. One of them looks kind of like a pair of scissors. Alright! Yeah, new clothes bog! Hey, Barry. What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater? There's nothing inside it. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria. There's a boiling thingy over there. There's nothing in the on the lid or in the drawers. Big chest. Interesting. There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. Ooh. I'm looking forward to it. I would like to see the meme. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. Not the sciencey words. That's a lot of medicine. I wonder if one of these is a laxative. Yeah, it, counts, it sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us has had the same idea. We had some laxatives. If you could crap out the bomb zero put in us. Unfortunately. Damn it. I don't know what medicine does what here. Well, that's in, you know, a list of ideas. The drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, we've got bombs in our intestine. Bombs. There's bombs in them. Was I done exploring that? I don't think I was. A medical mannequin with its guts showing. Ew. Gross. Hey, Junpei. There's a slit in this thing's chest. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. Ugh. Damn it! Sink thing on budge! It's stuck. Well, I guess you can't use force in this one then. We need something small that can fit into that little hole. The table the mannequin is sitting on. Sure is the table. And that's just this. There's a pipe going outside. Okay, I know. Let's go through that pipe and escape. Are you nuts? What the hell is wrong with you? Finally, he got to use that line and so on. Junpei, are you flexible like an octopus or something? Since we're not Octavi, we can't go through that. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> Something small, like an octopus. You know, I couldn't have been implying anything else. 
<laughs> 100 bullet. I appreciate the direct answer. It looks like it's lost. No, not lost? Locked. Loss. Guess we're gonna need a key for this one. Jinpei, where are you going? Sounding rod, that's where it's at. That's the door we came through. The only thing out there is the numbered door. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you that the numbered door is a one-way deal. So, you're saying there's no point to going back there, huh? <laughs> Post cursed. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can. And they're nodding. Awesome. Is there nothing over here? Sure ain't. Can we swap out the chest? Oop. The pleparation room! Holy shit, we found the pleparation room! It's locked. We can probably find the key if we just look some more. <laughs> Post bless too, salvage. Yeah, baby! Love that confidence. You are right. We can probably find the key if we just look some more. Let's just look somewhere else. We can't find it in the pleparation room? But I need to plep. What did we not check? I think for boiling tools to sterilize them. There's nothing in the drawer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we could shrink that much. Who knows? So true. <laughs> I'll find out. It is getting a little late. I think I'm gonna wind down after oh, more of this. That's a lot of surgery stuff. There's some scalpels, a few pairs of forceps, and a couple of syringes. All of us too rusty to be useful though. Hey, there's a scalp here that looks new! Where's the GC? Oh. Got it! Oh, you know what we could use that for? You! Internal organ. Specifically, a lung. You can see these things internal organs. <laughs> yeah, having a good time. I just got you all in here. I gotta play a little more. He had something that could fit into those cracks. Maybe we could take out some of the internal organs, like... Hey, turns best to the other follow. Hope you're having a good time. Please! I have something! I got, I got a scalpel, please! John is just lying there. Could I... Can't put the fake chest on. Hey, Decaf Leon, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, you know what I could use together? Nope. Does boiling renew remove wraps? I think to a certain extent, yeah. You can remove rust. Scalpel the heart. That's what I want to do. But it's like I can't... I can't get close enough. Like, I can't just, like, kill it. It's like the art. The heart, apparently. <laughs> can I go in? Can I, can I open? Go in. What? How did I not... I mean, I guess I need to look at it from a specific angle to open that. Another medical mannequin? M m mannequin? 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 From the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name, too. Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all her parts. Such as. Lucy's head and left arm are sitting on the bed. Yeah, right. Shit you was saying earlier, come on. Maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. Okay. This bed doesn't look very comfortable. There's some kind of device attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. Is this a scale? I'm assuming we need to get all the body parts first and then we can like combine it all together. Can 
But, uh... How am I supposed to do that? Because, uh... There's, like, something weird going on with... Oh, that's just, like, a... A little thing to put shit on, like, a little... Platform? I, I don't know what you'd say. Yeah, it just puts that back on. Okay. Mm, yeah, there's... Wow. Well, what else can we... Because... The fact that we can't put this down... And on the map, is there anything we haven't looked at? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. A table with a scalpel and forceps. They're all rusty, though. Don't think they'll be really useful. Yeah, I can't even look down at it anymore. Fair enough. Yeah, we still need to find the key as well. There's that to consider. I'm assuming we're gonna get that once we complete the body. The other table of stuff. The, the. Well, there's. Huh? Shit. Have I just been missing? There's. Yep. Uh huh. I forgot there's two of these. There are a bunch of surgical tools on the table. Thank you for reminding me. I was just like looking over it because I was like, yep, already did that. One of them looks kind of like a pair of scissors. Ah. Kosher forceps. They're kosher. Yeah, um, perhaps if I'd looked at the map closer, I would have realized, but well, you know. I assume this isn't... Why are the scissors? For the forceps, I guess. The organ is... Or gone? Really, Clover? I expected more from you. Oh, like you could do better. So true, Clover. Get his ass. John, who is just lying there. I assume we don't have enough yet to actually... Complete. But... We got those couple of things, at least. Well, I mean, what is the, yeah, there's like just the big chest cavity, but yeah, no. And I assume there's nothing we can do with, oh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. I was, I was thinking I'd have to leave it for scene. Organ key. Orkin key. Also, I'm kind of curious. Okay. Just just wanted to see, like, where we're at. Orkin key. But yeah, okay. Yeah, this is like the three routes we could have gone on for that. But uh, two of them lead to the same thing. I assume these two are the, like, both of the ones where Jinpei ends up going to the same room. But yeah, all, all organs do have keys inside of them. Check yours. You'll be surprised. Cool, it's unlocked. What's in here? Let's see if... Huh, a piece of paper. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? In fact, it's covered up by several gov governmental and non-governmental organizations under the rationale that public knowledge of this fact would increase the rates of violent crime. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing. File screen! Where's the file screen again? The medical record. Medical record found in the preparation room. It has records for two mannequins. Male mannequin named John, female mannequin named Lucy. Mannequins total weight and the weight of their individual parts. Ooh, that is useful.
Oh, and there's scales on each of the tables, so we need to use that to make sure we put the right ones on the right... Yeah, co yeah. so... We're probably gonna find enough parts to complete all of them, but John might actually have a couple of Lucy's parts. Interesting. A little complicated. <laughs> Always ask for the cheese in your organs. Yeah. You gotta use that opportunity. There are four different lights, even each one a different color. White, red, blue, and purple. Does this react to something and then the lights light up? It's white now. The white light on the top is glowing. Yeah, but the red, blue, and purple ones still aren't lit. I found a beaker. Can we put something in the beaker? Certainly not the fake chest. Would've been funny though. Oh. Hmm. It won't open. It looks like it's locked. There's a red plate on it. Do you think that means something? There's nothing the beaker so true. Damn. It's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Damn. It's not opening. It won't even budge. You know, it's debatable. The, the key can add a special part to the experience putting these nuts in the, be the beaker. A sink. Doctors and nurses probably wash their hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious here. A sink doesn't look suspicious. So you say. <laughs> Not me hitting the wrong thing. Um, is that it for here for now? I think probably. Unless. What's this? Now, if my cat could not be right in front of the screen. A light switch? Ah, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, and that's the symbol for uh, a planet. I don't know. There's a lock on the door. The key I've got won't open it. Do you think this is the exit? Probably. Probably. What? So how do we... Yeah, Jupiter Saturn sounds right. I, I want to say... Mm, Saturn? You are blocking my camera, sir. Cats all around me. Y'all might think, oh, that's great, right? Mm, well, oh, I don't think we can. There we go. Yeah, that actually, now you mentioned. What did we get from there again? Absolutely nothing. I feel like possibly there probably was more to find there, but I mean, now that we know about. Actually. Check out. Jupiter. Can we check the scale? Can we check what's on there? That seems irrelevant right now. Just a thought. Yeah, we're done with the tools. Fix the lights, power, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, Still can't get in here. It's locked, but... But what, Jinpei? Mm. 
And it automatically turns off when we leave. So what? Oh my god. I'm a fool. I didn't have the key out when I was checking that other door. I was like, oh, okay, fine. We can't get through that door with this key. You know, it's that's fine. It must be just how it is. No, I just forgot to select that chip. No, not that door. Awesome, it's unlocked. Ooh, that's a lot of objects. Huh? Something stinks. Is it coming from this bottle? It says NH3. Well, that of course stinks. It's ammonia. There's a bottle of ammonia on the shelf. It says NH3 on the label. Interesting that you know that. Junpei, there's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? The label says FE. FE stands for iron, right? Smart and clever. There's a bottle of iron powder on the shelf. It says FE on the bottle. Hey, Junpei, do you think there are any slugs on the ship? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. What is she pointing at? The label states NACL. Salt, huh? You think Seven will shrivel up when we put it on him? Hey. You say something? There's a bottle of salt on the shelf. And I see L. And I have sodium and Cl is chloride. So salt is made up of one sodium atom and one chloride atom. Yeah, so there's salt. There is. Let's over here. There's salt, there's iron. And ammonia. Salt, iron, and, and ammonia. Mm. But also, yeah, the specific letters might be notable. We're getting a nice little science lesson. Hey, Junpei, there's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. <laughs> Why don't you just say water? There's a bottle of water on the shelf. The label says H2O. What's this? Looks like a can with a spray nozzle. It's a CO2. It's a can filled with carbon dioxide. Carbon and oxygen, carbon dioxide made of one carbon atom, one carbon atom, two oxygen atoms. The more you know. The ammonia's over there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Got us a little math problem, I think. Um. Iron equals one. Salt equals two. Water equals three. Uh, carbon dioxide. Is this about the amount of atoms that make it up? Carbon dioxide is three. Ammonia is two. Ethanol. Ethanol is just. Is that the just one? We haven't found the ethanol yet, obviously. Blue liquid! Red liquid! How can you tell inside the bottle? Oh, good stuff! Let's go for a drink! What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5OH. Uh, right. Well, mm, it's ethanol. Right. It's also known as ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So, you're gonna drink it? Nah, I won't. It might say that's what it is on the label, but there could be anything in there. That's your concern? All of ethanol on the shelf. Yeah, so that's two, seven, nine, nine total. Gotcha. Yeah, ethanol is nine atoms. Uh, H2O is 3, obviously. Salt is 2. Iron is 1. Ammonia was 2, correct? And it's up here. No, that's ammonia is 4, okay. 
I remember there being two t uh, two types, but... Yeah, carbon dioxide, CO2, that's just three. So yeah, it's gonna be... Uh, three, four, nine, I believe. Box is locked. Looks like you have to enter a, a passcode on the keypad to open it. I can only enter three, three numbers. Yeah, three, four, nine. Use for enter and C is clear. Once you put in the enter, press E. If you mess up, press C. Let's give it a shot. Also, interesting. A chest opening. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it does look like that, doesn't it? Fake right arm. Thanks for specifying that it's fake. Fake heart. Uh. Think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Clover nodded and left. Junpei was about to follow her when he realized that Seven wasn't following suit. Mm -hmm. Hey, Seven, what's up? Oh, well. He looked at Junpei distractedly and then back down at the brown bottle he held cupped in his large is, hands. Is that a medicine bottle? Yeah, I got curious about it. Here. In response, Seven tossed the bottle gently to Junpei. Yeah, if only. If only there was some chemistry in that. He caught it and tw twisted it around to read the label. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. EDT. You know, EDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Huh? Yeah, that's the thing. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. <laughs> Oh, shit. You remember something? Yeah. Seven nodded slowly and spoke. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But... Somewhere after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. You know a lot about this shit. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They've been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. I think they are teaching me chemistry. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. Man, I get hydrates every day. I don't know. It was like... How do you say it? You mean like it was infected with a virus or something? Seven shook his head. No, not like that. It spread like wildfire. It showed up in labs that were completely isolated from the rest of the world. It even started happening to crystals that were completely sealed up. It doesn't seem like it could have been a result of this stuff coming in contact with other samples. Then... Well, I guess it was some sort of information. I information? Like... The crystals were transmitting this information all across the world somehow. That's... hmm. What information? How to make a new crystal. Someone had to tell this stuff how to do it, right? What? Like he just whispered to the EDT in the tank, Hey, if you do this, you can take in water molecules. <laughs> Come on, man, that's just... I mean, who is this someone anyway? If you do this, you can take in water molecules. That's really what you're saying when you redeem a hydrate. Someone you can't see. Someone who exists all over the world. You mean, like, like a god? Maybe the devil. Seven grinned. As, if, as Junpei was trying to figure out what on earth he was going to say next, Clover's shrill voice pierced the room. Hey! What are you two doing over there? 
stop wasting time and get over here. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Biz. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez. Yeah, so, anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. As EDT crystals. Forming into hydrates. By receiving information. Sure thing. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> With it. Hmm, yeah, that's a good point, yeah. We have a bottle of EDT now. With that cryptic remark, he turned and left the room. Junpei was left behind to ponder what he'd just heard. Information being transmitted invisibly. Information being transmitted invisibly. Hmm? Invisible information transfer, whatever that fuck that means. Could such a thing really happen? Well, thinking about that crap isn't going to help me right now. We need it to might. figure out how the hell to get out of here first. He took a deep breath, tried to clear his mind, and then followed after seven. Wait, don't mind me, um, clowning around. You have your heart already. It might not be yours, but you have one. All her bed. Mm. Yeah, what do we got now? We got the body, heart, right arm. She's already got her left arm, but she needs legs. At the least. Yeah, I mean, upper and lower torso are considered separate parts. Combined chest and heart. Oh, good point. Wait. Uh, apparently not. Yeah, no. I mean, what kind of. Yeah, this is the upper chest that we have right now, so we need the lower part of the torso. We need the lower part of the torso. Both legs. And that's it. Either way, we have the bottles now. So we can go to the sink. Ooh. Blue liquid, actually. Blue liquid! Hey, the blue light turned on. And I heard a noise. It sounded like something unlocking. Leg. Well, now we know what to do. The front light's on now. I think I heard another noise. You don't gotta empty it out every time. We're gonna use that, like, right now. I get it. You combine the red liquid and the blue liquid to make a purple one. Good job, Junpei! The purple light came on and I heard it unlock. I'm sure it's unlocked. The locker with the purple plate has got to be unlocked. Alright, let's see what happened. Fake stomach, got him. Anyway. 
get out of here. That should be... Okay. So I've collected the sixth part of the medical mannequin. So the ones we've got must be for Lucy, right? Nope. Yeah. Seems like it. Well, I see we give Lucy her parts back. Any objections? Nope. Agreed. All right, let's get started. Combine! And it's all wrong, isn't it? Oh, there's a number on here. 51 kg? What's this? Is this the weight? Voltron! Well, we were just stacking body parts on it, so it makes sense it'd be the weight. But is she 51 kilograms? Nope, she is 53.2 kilograms. So she is currently missing 2.2 kilograms. So what body parts are 2.2 kilograms of difference? I mean, it's not going to be that simple. But what are some obvious links that like add up? Or like things that are clearly not right? <laughs> what doesn't match? I feel like the test. Well, no, that seems right. The chest and like torso seem correct to me, just shape-wise. The heart is obviously. Pretty, like, you know, you could replace that without it being a huge issue. Um, it seems like most of John's body parts are heavier, and yet, yeah, all of them are right. Oh, but it's not, they didn't mark off the arm. But yeah, like, the chest is 6.2 compared to 6, heart's 2.3 compared to a 2, the uh, left, uh, the right arm is a 1.5 compared to a 1, chest, or yeah, the chest is a, no, torso, sorry, torso is a 5.6 compared to a 5, right leg 3.4 compared to a 3, and left leg 4.5 compared to a 4, yeah, but like, what? Like, there's no way that maths, right? I mean... <sighs> we do have a calculator, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna bring up mine so I can do it while I'm looking at this. I mean, the total weight... Mm, is So John's total weight... What is 6? 2.3... 1.5... Five point six. Four four. Four point five. Twenty three point five. Yeah, I feel like they don't mention the other arm, but it's like you would think oh, it's probably the same, right? But they're not. The legs aren't. Her arms aren't. Mm. I wanna be able to just like Put down, um, like, one body part at a time and go by that, but I know it's not gonna be that easy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's... Cause can we scroll down on this? No. Yeah, cause it's not, it's not giving us the weight of certain body parts, like the head, one of his arms. Hey! Nothing happened. That's odd. Maybe it's the wrong weight? Or maybe it's the wrong weight? Weight? Yeah, well, you know, there's a scale on the side of the bed. Maybe we need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do that? I think we're supposed to swap her body parts as John's. Oh! Let's give it a shot. Operating instructions, let's go! A screen will display two medical mannequins. You can switch their body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Her 
Remind me. Medical record. Um. John needs to be fifty-one point three. Lucy needs to be fifty-three point two. The swaps I would accomplish, uh, that have like a difference of two point two in total. Or wait, uh, I I'm I can math. Um. Cause she needs to get to, and she's currently at. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also need to make note of like what their current weights are at. Currently, she's at fifty-one kilograms. I got to You are. Yeah, we can't measure that, but we can figure it out just based on the difference. Because she's missing 2.2 kilograms. So that's probably what he has. So he is now 53.5 kilograms. Alright. Based off of that... Yeah, we need to... Take a... You know, the 2.2 kilograms uh, for him. Or wait, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, we need to give him. Sorry. We need to give him. The, um. Nope, no, 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 no. Yeah, t t he, he has 2.2 extra kilograms that we need to remove and put on her. Um, so... How can we get to that total? Because the, uh... The weight increase... Just going, like, left, right, top to bottom... Is 0 0.2... 0 0.3... 0 0.5... Uh, the problem is if these are like the weights of their current body parts and like because it doesn't seem right that that would be the case but I don't know Point six I'll go with that for now and see if it works because like he's got the heavier body parts so it would all make sense Ugh. Point six, uh, point four, and point five for a total of two point two across all of these. Let's see. Ideally, we want to make two. Um, well. Well, essentially, we're on a total of 22. You know, don't worry about the decimals. Uh, the biggest numbers would be the 6, the 5, and the 5, and that brings us up to 16, which requires 6 more. So that's a 4 and the 2. Yeah, 2. 2 plus 5 plus 6. 4 plus 5 plus 4. So everything but the point 0.3. That would be 7, 13, 17, 22. That should do it. So if I move ever everything except for the heart, that might be it. That feels not right, but I'll try it. There it is. Hey Junpei, I just heard something. It came from John's operating table. Okay, they had like the right body parts initially. They, we just need to get... That makes more sense. I thought they were mixed up. 
We better check it out. Don't mind me going the wrong way each time. Huh? The lid on the scale. Hey, it opened. Oh, I get it. It must have opened because it matched John's weight to what's on the chart. Jupiter key! That should take us right to the next area. In which case, I should probably get to sleep. So I'll set myself up so I don't forget where to go. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night. And see if I can't rate someone. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me as I um, stretch my brain and did important mental exercise to try and be smart. Um, but this is fun. Looking forward to more of it. I'll see if I can find someone who's online streaming. As soon as I exit out of 999. Important. Anyway, let's see who's up. But yeah, glad you stopped by. All right. Who up? But yeah, next, uh, while, while I'm looking, next stream coming up on Friday night, Saturday morning, 2 a.m. Central, and that's going to be some more Pokemon Nuzlocke, I believe I had scheduled. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, more Pokemon White Nuzlocke, and hopefully it'll be a little less cringe than last time. <laughs> but I'll always have my schedule up on Twitter and the Discord, so that's always available. All right. Who up hit like? Unsurprisingly, not a lot of folks up. <laughs> but we do have a couple people to go and say hi to. But Kayum is currently doing uh, Minecraft, so I'm gonna make sure she's still going for a bit. And then, if she is, I'll send you all over. But yeah, thanks again for the raids and stopping by and the follows and all that good stuff. Good talking with you all and uh, getting a bit of help with my uh, two brain cells <laughs> to figure out mysteries. I did decently. <laughs> but I'm glad I finally got to get to this. Because I've been wanting to play... I mentioned, but I, I, I've been wanting to play Zero Escape. For a hot second. Ah, oh, okay. The guy is currently eating and watching... Uh, Cooks and Nightmares. Well, we could still say hi. No reason not to. Let's go and do it. But anyway, if it's if it's night for y'all, I don't know. Time zones. Uh, have a good night. Otherwise, have a good day. Whatever. I'll see y'all around on Friday night or Saturday morning, whichever. All right, go spam with emotes. Let's go say hi. See y'all later. <laughs>